Hi Vatsana, how are you doing? And welcome to the most insane music you've ever heard. Uh, we're playing many new horror games today. Let's get YouTube in here as well. Hello, hello YouTube. How are you guys doing? You're hearing this music right here? Absolutely insane. Uh, we're playing the Pony Factory as well as many other horror games today. What the f absolute heck? <laughs> that sound. Uh, this game right here is made by David Zamansky, who you will know, not maybe by name, but by their portfolio. They are the creator of Iron Lung, which is uh, one of the most legendary horror games that's come out recently. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to check out uh, one of their newer titles. This game came out a few week or a week or two ago. There's also another, this is also made by John Simonski, David and John Simonski, this, this name right here, um, who John has made uh, my Friendly Neighborhood together with the other brother. There's like three brothers. There's David, John, and Evan, and they are all like insane game developers somehow. Which I just learned that Zamonski is apparently a very common Polish name, so maybe they're not actually related and it's just a coincidence, but I'm not sure. Anyway, so we're starting with this one, uh, which... What is going on here? Other modes. I'm just gonna run it at normal mode if that's okay. Absolutely insane sound. I think we're all good to go. We're just gonna hop in alien dance. <laughs> yeah, we're playing another game after this that is also made by John. Uh, then we're playing a new game from Emeka Games. It's like lit it's amazing dev night tonight because we're playing game from Iron Lung Dev, game from My Friendly Neighborhood Dev, and a game from uh, Emeka Games, which Emeka Games is one of the indie devs that I keep an eye on because they always make good games. Um, and then there is an Observation Duty game that's come out on Steam. We played the uh, Itch.io version a while ago. It came out on Steam last week, so we're going to check that out as well. So there's lots of fun stuff. So anyway, without further ado, let's just go say hi YouTube to the edited video on the main channel and have some fun. <clears throat> Here we go. The sound, though. <laughs> it's like, the, it's Seabed. <laughs> it kind of sounds like Seabed, like, <laughs> anyway. Hi, YouTube, how are you do- oh, Jesus Christ, I can't- <laughs> This is fucking music, bro. Oh, man. I just did mute it for myself. I can't be serious. <laughs> oh, I need to join the voice chat. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, this is too hard, bro. <clears throat> Alright, pretending. Here we go. Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to the Pony Factory. This is a game made by David Zamansky, who you might not recognize this name, but you definitely recognize the games they've made. They have made Iron Lung, which is one of the most legendary horror games to come out recently. So yeah, the Pony Factory, new game by them, came out like a week ago. So we're checking it out and it's gonna be awesome. I really hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Well, let's hop into the game, let's go. Alrighty, I just checked the settings for a second. I, I can't believe I kept a straight face throughout all of that. Uh, VC, I will leave everything fine. So FOV, I'm gonna turn it up to 90. Um, I think that's fine. Fly. Begin me. Winston arrived at a solution to the moral decay of his town. He called out to Hell in a secret candlelit room one evening, and Hell answered him. The human body could. The human body could, hell promised, be twisted, stretched, and broken into a kinder, more a queen shape. The human heart molded into something less human. Winston Town, now filled with the cruel and ignorant, could instead be filled with magic ponies if he could provide a factory in which to make them. Winston thought they could be beautiful, gentle, and good. Hell had other plans. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, then. Oh, baby. Here we are. Oh, I am fast. W-A-S-D to move. Uh, I got a health bar in the middle of the screen. I got bullets. Apparently, I don't have any bullets. Uh, this is- it's black and white right now. Do I click this? Move the valve. Oh, we got a letter. Read it. E. 
Uh, notice to all employees, review your timetable at the e at the end of each Friday, as shifts may change or be redistributed from week to week, and staff turnover may vary significantly, as sinners are identified and corralled. Similarly, each Monday before clocking in, you must report to the security wing for moral examination. Employees with a sin reading of 0 0.07 or higher will not be permitted to enter until they have become more chaste. Failing multiple examinations may be grounds for termination. Employees are also required to remain virtuous in our site throughout the work week. The interior ambient sin level may not exceed 7% of the facility's total moral fiber. Management will be making every effort to insulate this facility from the outside it hedonism. And exterior sin levels are expected to drop as more of the population are changed into magical ponies. Okay, dude. I mean, you're definitely immediate. Like, uh, Iron Lung is... is or praise for its amazing story and atmosphere told through um, just like the environment alone. So I'm expecting some of that here. Let's see. We're going to go down here. I think I am going to maybe reduce the FOV slightly because it feels like we're moving too fast. I think this is better. Uh, no. Wait, what? This is fine. Yeah, something is telling me these magical ponies are not going to be very nice. Uh, not crouch, by the way. Breaker box. I'm just clicking everywhere. Am I going to get attacked by magical ponies now? Oh, shift makes me walk instead of run. Interesting. It's the opposite way. E to pick up. Oh, I have a gun now. All right. <laughs> what the? The Maximalist V automatic bolt gun. Traditionally, livestock is dispatched one at a time at close range, but our studies have found that this method is inefficient for the rapid harvesting of horse parts necessary for the mass production of magical ponies. A faster, more reliable method is needed. To this end, we have developed a maximalist V4 automatic bolt gun, or ABG V4, boasting the accuracy and fire rate of a military assault rifle of 40 round capacity and ergonomic magazine design for quick reloading. This tool makes it easy to kill or incapacitate multiple animals in rapid succession from any range. What the fuck? Hey, welcome, Agus and Brad. What's going on? Thank you guys for the gift subs as well. Uh, I don't. Oh, geez. That's one of those magical ponies. Hello? Uh, also, my mouse sensitivity is just way too high. <laughs> Turn that down to half. That's better. Uh, are we going to meet this guy? I don't have a flashlight. Did this just open? I swear we came from up there. Look for the unlocked door to complete each area. Okay. Is this door unlocked? Oh, yes, there it is. I pressed E on the door. So now I can shoot? I can shoot. <laughs> Hold left mouse to fire the bolt gun. Press R to reload. Keep on the lookout for ammo pickups. Like this one right here. Boink, boink. I'm expecting to be jumped by a man. Ah, magical ponies! What the fuck? What in the shit is that thing? Oh my god, it's so... <laughs> it had like a horn? Is that what we're making in this factory? Okay, dude. I took a few hits there. Uh, notice to all employees, we have identified a, a number of minor leaks in the liquid lightning holding tanks. Liquid night lightning is the main catalyst in the process of whimsical flaying. <laughs> While management assures us, us that lightning cannot travel through the air, physical contact with any visible pools of lightning on the ground could expose you to dangerous levels of electrical skin peeling whimsy. <laughs> Please use the utmost care when moving through affected areas until the maintenance staff are able to fashion a mop capable of absorbing electricity. Okay, don't walk in the pools of electricity. I get it, I get it. Hold shift to walk slow. I can't jump. Oh, Jesus. I'm assuming I just take damage. Can I turn this off in any way? Oh, I have to just move around. I assume? Yes. Alright then. That worked out. game is nuts and i like it more ammo let's go something's gonna be here when you're gonna give me a flashlight well this hallway is creepy i'm rp walking now pick up mech kits to regain lost health there's a mech kit mad kit oh jesus oh there's so many of them 
Okay. Uh, I still have got lots of bullets. I didn't take a hit there. I didn't take a hit. Notice to all employees, please use caution and respect when circumnavigating the precarious death pits. And remember that it is here for your safety. What? If the sins outside become so great and so numerous as to evoke the wrath of God, the precarious death pit can be jumped into to ensure a quick and fatal escape from the vine retribution. Alrighty then. That doesn't sound very fun. This is the <laughs> precarious death pit right here. I really kind of want to jump in there. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just die. Yep. All right. Makes sense. <laughs> I have to say it, of course. Can I make people? Oh, ammo is full. Can I bait the monsters in there? Oh, no. I'm back here. I didn't take damage this time. I got 69 bullets left. Nice. All right. Well, I'm going to make sure that I read all of this. I'm speed running this. I'm not taking any damage. I mean, it is called the precarious death pit. I should have kind of known. There's two over here. Okay, wait. Oh, I, I can't pick it up. I just unlocked the crap out of them. Um, there was one more, right? Oh, no! Okay, there we go. We're back to totally fine. I don't think I can even pick this up because I didn't take any damage. There we go. There's more ammo, though. All right, we're full on ammo, full on everything. Let's see what's going on here. More, more liquid lightning or whatever it said. Is there a precarious death pit here? It kind of looks like it. Is that a hole in the ground or can I just walk on this? I'm assuming I can walk on this. Oh, flashlight. Yes. Oh, hi. Press right mouse button to swap. Is that alive? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it was, but now it's not. I should have known. Uh, that's a pickaxe. Gotta pick up a pickaxe. I took one hit. It's fine. Is this door open? <laughs> Get the crap out of me. Oh, I didn't see what it said. It said something on the screen. Probably like, do not click this door right now. You will die. The fuck is this noise? Oh, Jesus. Ponies look insane, by the way. Ammo full. Hi! Look at this guy! Correct. Get messed up. Man. Why does it reload sometimes? When I'm not even empty. I guess it's just the magazine is empty, but my ammo is still fine. No, oh, what the <laughs> fuck? It's a it's super magic man! He's got magical spells. That is so much damage. Oh, there's 40 magazines in the round. I'm gonna take that health kit. The fuck? Oh, there's more ammo. There's just different types of ponies. My favorite. Um, any ways to go. More health. Let's go. Locked. Never mind. There's not many ways to go. My fellow creators, I will try to answer the many questions I've received as quickly and thoroughly as possible, but I'm sure you will understand that I am merely human and addressing all your concerns will take time. That said, regarding dress codes, employees are reminded that no religious iconography of any kind may be worn in the workplace, as the management is hell itself. <laughs> Such displays go against our fundamental company values. Winston, the CEO. I mean, that's fair, <laughs> to be honest. I love how, uh, how polite they are about it, though. Oh, shit. No, what the? Am I, like, out of bounds there? I think but the AI got a little confused because I was, like, in the corner, which made me count as being out of bounds. Okay, I took a lot of damage there for literally no reason. Um, any mechets around here, or am I just gonna die? ammo around here oh there we go do i get i do not get full hit full health when i change level does hell get rid of all color as well 
I hear something walking. Oh, damn it. Magic man is coming. Why is he running? <laughs> the way he's running around. I can't get another this music, man. Oh, no, something's coming. This music is ridiculous. Listen, I don't care how you do it. Shoot them, stomp on them, hit them with a big stick. I don't care. If you see a squirrel in there, in here, it dies. No exceptions. I don't know how they're getting in, and I don't know how in the name of hell itself they're so organized, but they are damn organized, and they seem to be targeting our machines and infrastructure specifically. I am well aware of how insane this sound sounds, but the squirrels want to destroy this facility before we've even finished a single pony. Stop them. Winston, the CEO. Squirrels? Magical squirrels? Or what's going on here now? This game is bonkers. Fire and burst to maintain accuracy. Yes. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, there's a magic guy. Get wrecked. <laughs> I should reload all the time. Probably doesn't waste any bullets. There's a mech kit. You gotta be looking around. Ponies, don't worry about it. Oh, more lore. I want more lore. Brandon, I know this job can get repetitive, and when you get bored, you make mistakes. So remember the four plus one four O oh trick. Four. Okay, we need to remember this, guys. Four hooves and one skull go to the pony maker, where they will be grafted onto a fully prepped sinner by the way of Elsh pony magic. Then four hooves go to the glue maker where they will be pr processed into pungent glue, the fumes of which are pumped throughout the facility to encourage everyone to remain in the proper headspace, and the remaining skull gets thrown in the incinerator. Got all that? Four hooves and a skull to the pony maker, four hooves to the glue maker, one skull to the incinerator. Okay, four plus one, four O. Oh. I see. It's as easy as drinking to forget. What the hell? <laughs> Okay, four. So we need four hooves and a skull first. Do I find those somewhere? I hear more animals. Never mind. That looks extremely dangerous. There's mecha here. And there's more lore. Uh, my fellow creators, I'm just one month. In just one month, the Pony Maker will be finished and we will be activating the current stock and swinging into full production. This will naturally require us to increase the rate and reliability of our Sinner acquisition. Since the townsfolk are proving significantly harder to acquire now, now that our activities are widely known, several assembly lines will be immediately transitioned over to the building of the Pony Tank. This ingenious hoof-powered weapon of war adapted from sketches by the great invector, inventor Friedrich Flintstone <laughs> will allow multiple ponies to chase down wayward sinners from within the protection of a great pony head and to hurl magic projectiles if the situation should call for it. It will be great. Please refer to the new posted schedule for new shift assignments. Winston the CEO. This game keeps getting more and more insane. Use cover to avoid projectile damage. You spoiled it! Oh, oh I still got hit there. I use cover to get shit on. I have 70 health, this is fine. Is there any lore here? I want to get all the lore. I need some hooves. Hooves and skull. Oh god. No, no, no! Oh, Jesus. Hey, you can walk through that? That's cheating! What the fuck is he doing? Ow. He moves weird. You fucking chill the hell out! Okay, there we go. <laughs> I got no bullets! Oh, no! Wait, I got some bullets here. Okay. What if I run out of bullets? Am I just dead? I guess I am. Uh... I don't see any more bullets. This is bad. Could be the end of the level. It is the end of the level. Okay, so we need to really remember. We need to really remember that recipe because we're not going to be able to read that note again. Oh! Ah! I need to reload. Oh no! Jesus Christ! The way this guy moves. What the 
doesn't seem to have any recoil at all, so I don't know why it gave me a tip to, like, fire in quick bursts. It's like, no, just hold the button. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just making sure there's no lore around here. What are we killing? Uh, magical ponies. Can't you see? Already forgot the recipe. Someone in chat will have remembered. Oh. Correct. There's health. Health and this. And more ammo. Ammo full. Okay, never mind. Push it. Get wrecked. Nice. Yeah, this facility looks a little fucked up. So there's 75 health. Oh, no. It's interesting how you have to, like, swap between... Oh, fuck. Swap between light and being able to shoot. This guy does not have two hands. I guess shooting the thing with one hand will be hard to do. So many weirdo machines. This, haven't we seen this machine like seven times? Is there, any, is there no lore around here? Am I missing the lore? I guess there's no lore. It's doom. It's doom all over again. These creatures aren't ponies. Oh, they most definitely are. I still need some health. We're going deeper and deeper. That's where it gets spooky. That's a lot of blood. I'm assuming it's blood. Or maybe it's... I don't know. We don't have color. Could be anything, really. There's probably gonna be some monsters in this open area. No? He's full in here? Alright, then... Oh, there's lore! Mark, I have received your concerns. As you know, there's an immense amount of excess sin extracted during our processing, and all that sin needs to go somewhere. To that end, a specialized pipeline carries the sin from this facility out into the forest, where it is harmless, where it harmlessly percolates into the groundwater supply. Harmlessly? I understand from your report that the sin levels in this same forest recently spiked for no discernible reason, but management assures me that this spike is most likely a natural phenomenon and is certainly unrelated to our waste sin pipeline. I agree with this and will further add that my es estranged son's company is currently performing an extended observation and spiritual analysis of the forest, which could certainly be causing untold sorts of depraved abnormalities. I'm confident in our mission and leadership, and I don't believe this event is any cause for alarm. Thank you for remaining diligent in your work. Winston CEO, every capitalism simulator over here. What the hell? Oh, it's locked. Uh, monsters. <laughs> Bureaucracy, the most scary thing of all. Nice. Okay. Reload. Dude, that's a that's a big boy. Give me what is that? It, this attachment allows the bolt gun to fire faster the longer the trigger is held. Okay. Uh, I am going to I guess just slightly in general reduce the volume. Let's make it like 70 per 69. Perfect. Nice. That's fine. Uh, what is this? The Maximalist Enhanced Fire Rate Module. Oh, here we go. EFR. Attaching an additional weapon system opens up bolt gun operators to the world of special operations. Only possible now with the Maximalist Enhanced Fire Rate Module, or EFR. Whether you're facing down a deadly stampede of bloodthirsty herbivores, or you have a single piece of livestock that requires the most definitive possible treatment, this versatile modification will unlock the full potential of your ABG V4. As the ultimate in tactical long range animal husbandry. Okay, dude. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. We're getting upgrades. I want to see how fast this weapon goes. Oh, there we go. That's indeed pretty fast. That's only good for the big ones, though. Hello? It's a little quiet suddenly. Oh, 
Boss fight. Red means scary. If there's actually color now? There's not been color this whole time. Oh. Interesting. Oh. The way it explodes. Okay, interesting. It's changing. So the the blood wasn't colored then. Because it's special blood from hell. Uh, oh, no. I mean, there's just colors everywhere now. We got blue stuff here. Fun size Panther, thank you for the five gifts. Of, thank you. Uh, what in the fuck is that machine? Oh, hi. Yep. This is. These are the magical ponies. Lovely. <laughs> That's a screenshot right there. My favorite. Uh, the thing you seek lies at the heart of the pony maker. The pony maker. Was there anything... Can I open this door? No. Just making sure. Isn't that just lovely? Yes. Oh, there's lore. Uh, notice to all employees, over the coming weeks, we will be installing the magic friendship energy from hell inside the pony maker. <laughs> this marks the final step in pre-production, after which we will use the pony maker to activate all prepared magic ponies and swing into full production. As this energy emanates from the depths of hell itself, it casts shades of lights light never seen before in this dimension if you see hues and luminosity hither hither though unglimpsed by the sight of mortal man this could signal a critical leak and should be immediately reported to your supervisor okay so color is an anomaly okay then uh yeah that doesn't look very <laughs> that looks concerning to say the least all right, then. <laughs> totally safe machine, what the fuck? Oh. What have I done? The ponies, they have all gone mad. This is not magical friendship energy from the depths of hell itself at all. It is pure sin from the depths of hell itself. Twisted to resemble wander and whimsy. How could hell betray us like this? Oh no, they're coming. <laughs> no, no, ah, ah. Winston, the CEO. He still wanted to sign it after that. <laughs> wanted to make sure everyone knew who was talking. What the fuck? This is what you've been searching for. Take it. Oh. I found it. You have got what you came for. Now escape. Uh, alrighty then. Yeah, we already read this. Is it reloaded? I'm just gonna make sure. There's gonna be lots of monsters fighting now. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. More? Not more. Yeah, all the doors are probably still locked. Don't even know where you come from. So we're gonna go back through the way that we got here. Oh. Get wrecked. Get juked. I got 80 health. I just have... I need to preserve bullets most of all. It's, it's color here now, too. No! Help! I have five bullets! Oh my god. Wait, no. No, it's too fast! It's not gonna be enough! It was exactly enough! Oh wait, there are bullets here anyway. That was lucky. Okay, there are bullets everywhere. Never mind then. That worked out. <laughs> Don't shoot. I can't- Oh, do I not? Is there gonna be special ending if you do pacifist run? Don't kill any magical ponies from hell? It's friendship. Friendship energy. Oh. Gamers? Oh my. What the f. No, I can't see shit! They're fucking everywhere. Give me more ammo. I got 70 health. I'm gonna run. Oh, never mind. I still get more health kits. They're everywhere health kits. Ooh, there's light now. Light just seeping through everywhere. Uh, wait one second. Hopefully no one comes up. I 
dead? Hold me, chat. <sighs> no more silly music, huh? I love that someone just came back here to put bullets everywhere. That's so, so nice of you. <laughs> Thank you. I needed those. It's slightly different color here. Oh, Jesus Christ! At least these guys don't do much damage. Let's get the shit out of me. Oh, now we're silly music again. Never mind. It is fine. You guys better now that I can actually. Oh god! I love that they just randomly run around. I have created color. Maybe that was a bad idea. Now it looks sick. More. We're full on everything. No one can harm us. You can. Are we not gonna make the recipe? Dude, they really give me so much health ever. Wow, we already read these, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this game is definitely not taking itself very serious. Right, there's the whole fucking army. No, a lot of bullets. What do I do? Uh, bullets, bullets. Oh, there. Thank you so much. Dude, my upgrade is insane. I am curious where this is going, though. <laughs> oh, blue? <laughs> Different colors everywhere. Almost back to the beginning, which is our goal, I think. Red means scary. Come here! Stop running around like a weirdo! The fuck? Oh my god, you bitch. There we go. I am now out of bullets. There better be some bullets here. There is some bullets here. He's damn juking. Mr. Juke Master. Oh no. We're at 40 health. We have only died once because we jumped into the precarious death pit, which wasn't a very smart idea. But besides that, we've been doing fine. Am I gonna get magical friendship superpowers? Nice, 65 health. I appreciate that they put the thing in the middle, by the way, so I don't have to move my camera around to avoid blocking it. I appreciate it when a game thinks about where the face cam of a content creator should be. Which is not something that games really do probably think about very often, because why would you? Because 99% of your players are not going to give a shit. But I appreciate it. More health. Get a pony. Yeah, we're, we're getting ponies for everyone. You guys will all get ponies by the end of this stream. Is this not where we started? I swear. Oh. I swear. Yes. No, thank you. You don't want a magic pony. Oh, it's a precarious death pit. Let's go. Uh, the fog. It's our friend. The only time we die. He was trying to push me into the precarious death pit. Almost fell for it too. Green. Or like sign. No, no, no. Don't fall into the pit. I have seven bullets. That's not very good, huh? Good job down here now. Or is there any bullets out there? Probably. Uh oh. Bullets. I still got 80 health. Ah! Hello 
that I can just face tank that. 12 bullets left. It's zero bullets, but this is the <laughs> exit. <laughs> I do need more bullets. I knew that was gonna be something, thank you. Hi. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I just got explode in a massive pile of blood. Can I go in here now? Oh no. No, 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 you can't fight me out. I got no bullets. Help. Bullets? No, 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 no. Uh, what the fuck, sir? I'm running past you. Uh, what the fuck? He's stun locking me. No! My brother in Christ, yes. Eat shit, bitch. Go, go, go. Get me out of here. Where's my ammo? No, no, no! Stop. Dude, this fucking guy. No, no. I got nothing. What am I supposed to do? Is there no ammo around here? There's gotta be something. I think this is the last guy. <laughs> you fucking kid choking. There. Let's go. Okay. You messed with the wrong guy, sir. I still got 45 health. We're fine. Stand still. There we go. <laughs> so stupid. Is this the door, by the way? Oh, I could have just clicked on the door. What? It's blue and red. I don't know what to think now. Blue is safe, red is scary. What's I'm, what I'm supposed to do? Oh, no. The most ambiguous horror situation of all time. All the stuff I've trained over the many thousands of horror games that I've played. <laughs> what the fuck? There's just so much. Okay, I think we're gonna be fighting something big here. Uh. Boss fight? There's so much health and shit everywhere. Isn't this where we came from? I think so. Right wall strats. Can I interact with the machine? I don't know what I'm missing. All these things are sparking. Is there a door over here? There is a door over oh! <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> My brother in Christ! Jesus! The music! I'm gonna so die. Can I get some more health? Stay away. No, 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 I'm hiding. I can't go any faster than this. It's a damn jam. Oh, shit. Get juked. Is he still there? Oh, no. I love that we're just trading hits. That's probably not the best idea. No! You had to, I couldn't see shit, bro. <laughs> okay. Whoopsie daisy. It's fine. We get to try again. Uh, I, I unloaded so many. Oh, there's a guy here, of course. Where are you? Unloaded so many magazines into that dude's face. And I still got wrecked. Alright, get this. And then we need to walk over to the other side. Reload. This is fine. We got this. I need to, like, juke him at this pillar or something. And he's stuck. No, no way. Where is he? I don't know. Is he there? No, he's coming in my face. That's not something I should say. That came taken out of context. Uh, I assure you that in context that made sense. <laughs> Where's this fucking guy? Oh, there he is. No, no, no. Get away from me. Oh, God. I don't have any more health kits. Can I just escape here, by the way? Probably, yes. I probably don't even have to kill his ass. He's 
standing there. There we go, get fucked! <laughs> Got him. We did it. We killed the magical pony from hell. The ultimate one. Oh. Let's go. There's still no color outside. Any note that I'm missing? I'm just making sure that there's no note that like explains the ending instead of us just clicking on something and then it like fades to credits and we missed the whole point. I don't think there is a note here. Oh, you guys are fucking all getting banned. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the man smiled as he walked through the abandoned parking lot away from the pony factory. He'd found and stolen the source of the pony magic and escaped with his life. He'd done what others thought was impossible, and now he would succeed where his father failed. With the power of hell at his fingertips, he would create his own pony army, for far larger and greater. All he needed were victims to transform in a factory in which to do it. Hell, it planned all this, and it smiled too in anticipation of what was to come. I'm assuming that's the ending. Alrighty, that was Pony Factory. Not as, I, I was expecting like a serious game. I guess I was, what was I thinking with a game named Pony Factory? But yeah, that's a game by David and John Simonski, creators of Iron Lung and My Friendly Neighborhood, which by the way, they have made a few other games they were also gonna be checking out. Uh, it's always a good idea uh, by like indie devs to make a few shorter games as well. Because I follow a lot of indie devs, obviously, for uh, the stuff that I do. And a lot of the times you hear that it's very tough to stay afloat when you spend, like, I don't know, multiple years working on one game. Uh, the best strategy is usually to release a few short projects throughout your, like, work on the bigger projects that are more fulfilling to you. So you could actually, like, put food on the table <laughs> and stay afloat. Because uh, it, like, usually doesn't pay off to spend several years making one game game that may or may not even be a hit. Obviously, Iron Lung was a huge hit. Obviously, My Friendly Neighborhood was a huge hit. But it's kind of a problem in the horror genre in general. Especially with shorter games like this, a lot of the time people buy these games on Steam and then refund them because they were like, well, it was less than two hours. Let me just get my money back, which is fucked up and should be like a way uh, against that on Steam. There should be like a w I think there is some kind of way with like achievements where if you get an achievement at the end of the game, like the developer can say if someone has this achievement, they can't refund it anymore. But I'm pretty sure Steam's refund fun policy will usually just allow people even when they have literally done 100 percent of the game to just refund it which is kind of silly so yeah anyway support your indie devs out there i hope you enjoyed that game if you're not surprised uh, not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely gamers here chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash it's working the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye all righty here we go we've done it uh, now, next game from the same creators. <laughs> I think this one's a little more serious, though. So don't get too used to the wacky shenanigans that just happened. This one is called... Oh, I got an achievement for just opening the game. I love it when they do that. <clears throat> this one's called Exiled. Let's see. My ears are being saved by the music. Yes, yeah, sorry for that. Thanks. Start options, thanks. <laughs> what? It's kind of quiet, honestly. Low graphics mode? <clears throat> no, thank you. Reset exposure? I'm just going to leave it like this. All right, let's go say hi, YouTube. Anyway, here we go. Hi, YouTube. How are you doing? And welcome to Exile. This is a game made by John Simonski, who has also made My Friendly Neighborhood, which My Friendly Neighborhood is an absolutely amazing horror game. So I always like to check out other games by developers that have made good horror games. And this game looks very interesting. You are uh, trying to revive or reincarnate your lost wife by deciphering some kind of Lovecraftian alien language in some kind of special book, all the while avoiding crazy alien from killing you. It sounds pretty wild, so we're gonna check it out. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game. Let's go. Alrighty. Let's see it. Start. Thank what happens when I click thanks? Special thanks. Um, vo voice acting. 
<laughs> I just love this. Special thanks to Emma Zemanski for voicing Charlotte and being my wife. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's go. My beloved Charlotte. Oh, wow. My wife of 14 years. She's always had a magnetic attraction to areas of study so unexplored that she, by default, becomes the foremost expert. I never know what draws her in so strongly to such niche research, but I support her as best as I can. Perhaps I should not have. The last months I've seen her desk covered by a dusty tome of eldritch beings. Where she found such a book, I didn't know, but the sudden appearance of an artifact like this is common for her, so I paid no attention. Well, I, I paid no attention until the day when Charlotte was suddenly missing, a note left in her place. It only read, I will have been banished to the ancient realm. It is for the best. My own wife? No, no, I, I could not stand for her to be gone without a trace. Banished to the ancient realm? I needed to understand. I started to scour her notes. I found scrawled handwriting talking of incoming destruction and the banishment sacrifice. As unsettling as they were, they only served to confuse me more. My search yielded two clues. One was a torn scrap of paper with untranslated runes. The other Escape was room? the location of where she had found the ancient tome, the great library. With nothing else to do, I, I took the book and the paper and traveled to the great library myself. I hoped to use the tome to translate the scrap and use its secrets to find more answers in the library. What I found there, oh, I will never yeah. forget. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. So we get this, like, Lovecraftian book and we have to decipher it? It is for the best. Hi, Charlotte. Here we go. <clears throat> uh, let's see. What's going on? Uh, left click to interact. What do we got right here? We have... Okay. We fill in an order, and when we finish clicking, it clicks back up. Okay. Uh, that's one thing. Then we have a clock. Yotarihu, which is... Is this accurate to current time? It is not accurate to current time. So it's in the game. Is there something back there? There's like a freaking... We're in a library right now. Uh, we have this book, A, B, C, D, okay, we have an alphabet that we have to decipher, I see, and this is like a special message, is this right here, probably, it's like a message, oh my god, that is complicated, oh, I, oh, wow, I have to like, combine, I see, letters with each other, interesting, uh, what's this, we have d the same symbols, I'm just randomly clicking. All right, let's check the book out. I know that's the big thing in the middle. I was just checking the rest. Eldritch beings compiled for the study and protection against the ancient terrors. Okay, wait a minute. Can we use this to translate some of these words? Is this like the word for eldritch? Eldritch seems like it. It's the same amount of characters. So that would be... Wait, wait, wait. That would mean that this is an E? Uh... Where is the same symbol? I cannot seem to find the same symbol. Oh no, it is this one. Wait, let's let's just connect that. Oh, uh, maybe. Wait, let let's try that theory. I know I'm just like s jumping the gun here. Uh, if that's an L, uh, but I want to see what appears here. Maybe it's all gonna make sense. L. Maybe we'll see like one word that makes sense. D is gonna be that thing. D is gonna be this one. Okay, this might not make any sense. I'm going to read the book in a second here. Just you wait. Uh, we have a little wavy thing. Which is the R. This thing right there. Okay, this might not mean anything. Let's just read the book. Sorry. <laughs> Compiled for the study and protection against the ancient terrors. This might be terrors or ancients. Uh, oh. There's my first clue. I should jot that down. Okay. Monsters part A. Monsters part... Okay, well, I'm stupid. <laughs> I was not correct. Okay, so this is A, I assume. Or it's part B, maybe? Let's... Can I check the next... Okay, I need to... Can I get rid of the shit? Draw that... Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I'm stupid. A is... uh, This, like, bow thingy. 
this one, which is definitely means that's not L. Can I get rid of this? Okay, I have to just click them. There we go. All right, let's just focus. Let's just follow the rules of the game. Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Um, Cthulhu! Cthulhu the Dark Being. Feared by all, Cthulhu causes the subconscious feelings of anxiety felt by generation to generation. The current He currently slumbers in the ancient realm, although it is thought he could return someday. His name, this thing, was lengthened when translated by the old English scribes, adding Hulu, Hulu, in the middle to you, you visually describe his prominence in the ancient text. Okay, so we have, wait a minute. So it, they added this in the middle. So this is C-T-U, C-T-U, right? So C is this symbol. Wait, no, not that symbol, sorry. Uh, this symbol. C, T is this symbol. Uh, T is that symbol. There's some of these symbols look very similar, so I might, I'm a little confused. And then U is that's the key symbol. U is the key, there we go. Because they, they said they added Huel, which if you remove Huel from this, it's CTU. So I'm, I'm assuming that's correct. Uh, the end. Sorry, it's a bit hard to read some of this. The one of Lar Lar Narlothep. Narlothep. <laughs> what does that say? Uh, a servant that carries out duties in Narlothep's obscene. The eye. Ab absent. Sorry, it is a being that stands. In, stays in the shadows whose goal is to see the return of its master. It will stalk towards any creature slowly and quietly if it knows that something, something's return is being threatened. If, if it is seen when closing in on its goal, whatever that be, it seems to retreat. Wait, so we have to look around. Oh god. We have to look around to prevent ourselves from getting killed. Narlotep? Narlotep? It's the Eye of Hanarlotep. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm not very familiar with all this lore. Uh, lore, Cthulhu lore. It lurks here. If it is close, look at it. Okay. Eye of Narlotep. I see. Then we have Rat Mass. What the hell? The Mass of Rats. A bunch of rats stuck together with glue. Mentioned only once in the ancient text. Horrific for no reason as much... For no reason as much as simply being sort of gross. <laughs> the writer describes it as being no shape and all shapes. No order but all beauty. A sight of true horror and magnificent. The true mean definition of a... Uh, and then this shit. One can construct a rat mass at home with the proper supplies. Apply glue liberally. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Sobogeg? Gobogeg? Gobogeg Mountain? Mountains? Is that what this means? Mountainans? Mountainans? <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> the Pillar of Melting Flesh. Boo Boo Gaga. Uh, a, a Pillar of... <laughs> My brother in Christ! What the fuck was that shit? <laughs> Excuse what? me. Where did he come from? Where did he come from? That's what I'm saying. Okay, that actually scared the shit out of me. Looks like he took something. Oh, he took one of my lore. Did he? What did? Oh, he took this. There was something here that he took away. Wait, fuck. Uh oh. Well, whoopsie daisy. A uh, pillar of melting flesh sprouting from the earth, Gobo Gag, appeared only once before being quickly banished by the something something something. The earthquake. Was there an eye somewhere? The earthquake it caused in its short time on Earth brought many civilizations to their knees, causing a large rift between those affected and those few nations who were not. It has no known way to be resummoned. Let's see, Gabagool. I'm just looking around if there's anything trying to fucking kill my ass so I don't have that happen again. Alrighty, it's a giant penis. I get it. Um, the bounds of Tindalos. Tindalos? Not quite bound and not quite not quite hound and not quite being the hounds are thought to be hor too horrific to describe i'm looking around no eyeballs please uh they are 
a being that exists only in time and manifests through space to follow its prey. It is said that the hounds are not the only object to to ex exist exist in time and that even words themselves can be communicated through the realm that the hounds inhabit. There's a time here? 340? Also, there's symbols on the table. You see this? Okay. Uh, Tindalos. Do I need to set this to a time? 340? Um, whoops, there we go. Schneedum, <laughs> schneedums. Excuse me? Schneedums? I'm sorry. What does that say? It's need to Is that not 340? Am I stupid? Can I rotate it or upside down? Isn't that what I do? What I did here? Yeah. Okay, the time is just moving. Oh! Am- Ammu and Nixum? Okay, we're gonna have to wait for a little bit longer. This is, uh, keep that in mind, though. Keep that in mind. What the fuck is this creature? Okay. The Nop- Nop- Care. Nafke, four armed creatures that live in the deepest, coldest parts of the earth, notably Antarctica, and high in the mountains. They often live alone, although have been recorded to come together under certain dire circumstances. Most famously, when the Nafke banished Gobogeg themselves, securing humanity's future on the planet. I know I'm pronouncing all these names completely wrong, by the way. Get used to it. Is there any symbols on this that I can... No. I, I think there's no... Real not there's some knowledge that we should be gaining from these type of things, or maybe we should translate these. The true definition of uh this. Do we know any of these? We know this one. Is that mass? It's gotta say mass, right? Because this is an A, and these are the same. It's gotta be mass. So then this is an S. Um This is an S, right? And then this is an M, the leaf thingy. Uh, this thing? Do we got anything? Oh, looking good. I think, I think, I think that's smart. Anything over here? If it is close, look at it. I don't see anything. Oh, oh, that's the clock. Okay, was there anything else? His name? Oh, no, this was the Cthulhu one that we already got. Okay, so good. We were on track, I think. We just need to translate this eventually. We know a few of these symbols, but there's a lot. Uh, let's see. Next one. Oh, Eldritch Devices, uh, we have a D. D is the... Didn't we already have this, though? Oh, D is the arrow thing. No, never mind. We didn't have that one. This one. Nice. Mm, something. Okay, we can't read this yet. Nice. Eldritch Devices, we get another letter. Uh, this thing. There's something on the there. The Clock of Tindalo, Tindalos. Uh, just making sure there's no Eldritch beings watching me real quick. Uh, the Clock of Tindalos, an artifact stolen from time itself. The clock displays different messages caught in time depending on where its hands lay. The messages it shows are never ordered, instead appearing as a string of letters to be sorted out by those that observe them. It is rumored that adjusting the hands creates altogether new connections from time to space. Okay, so we do need to do 340, but then we need to... What does this say? Snadum? Snims? Snims? What does this say? Name? Madness? Madness? Madness. It totally spells madness. Okay. Is that what this is then? That's not the same. Alright, madness. I don't know what that helps. Oh, madness here! Wait. Is there, I heard a sound. This game is cool. I like this. Uh, the ancient buff? Buff? Boar? What is that? Boar? Boff? Uh, taken from the depths of the ocean. Is it box? Oh, box! <laughs> of course. Taken from the depths of the ocean. This ancient box contains a secret known only to the ones that hid it. Ancient texts... I need to look around. Um, ancient texts describe the way to open it. It has been no it has been thrown into the streams of time to keep its secrets safe from the eldritch monsters. Tradition holds that the box can be opened through the use of a single word, although many have tried and been unable. Madness! Madness. For sure. Okay, right? 
Yes. Madness is the worst, but we lost the box because the fucking eye creature stole my box, bro. Okay. Eldritch board. Here we go. Maybe we can translate this. The Eldritch board used for banishment and summoning of creatures from the ancient realm to the human realm and back. The Eldritch Board was developed as a way to dispel the ancient horrors. The combinations used to conduct these acts have been slowly lost over time. Although scraps of combination written in ancient alphabets still exist. This is 4, 8, 16, so it's not the same as the alphabet. Um, okay. We have a B. B is this thing. Uh... Where is it? This thing. <clears throat> uh, do we have any words yet? No. We don't have any words yet. And there's also no monster attacks. I don't know. Right pressing space. Oh. Oh! I can look up from the book when I hold space to see if there's a monster. I, I thank you. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? So we have this. Star Spawn of Cthulhu. An elder civilization. These beings seem to be made neither of matter nor energy. I love that he's sitting like a sassy guy, dude. Look at this sassy dude. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Uh, these beings seem to be made neither of matter or energy. A handful of scripts exist detailing mo encounters with a star spawn changing from its own to a different shape and back again. Possibly even into non-creature forms. It is unclear what connections they share with Cthulhu, except abhorrent worshippers. Okay. I see. We don't really have any... We need more letters. What the fuck is that? Os... Ostagua, the toad god? Isatogua? Slumbers in the ancient realm, oozing small toads out of his pores. It is recorded that the smaller toads either explode after a few moments or cross the dimensionary path to the human realm. Uh, where they will take the form of a wild bear and then explode. The chunks of these toad bears can be re reassembled to make clever gifts for parties or other get-togethers. What are you fucking talking about? The Shogoth. Blob-like beings that can envelop creature and non-creature alike. The Shogoth possess incredible speed in immense cold, but slow... But, but slow and become more puddle-like in warmth. Early manuscripts... We got more letters here. Early manuscripts seem to view Shogoth as harmless creatures, sometimes even short shortening their name and adding an I at the end. Shoggy? Shoggy? As was common in the ancient language to show endearment. That's got to be Shoggy, right? For sure. We already got the S. Does that fit? Does the S fit? S totally fits. Sorry, I clicked the wrong button. So it's this is an H. Um, the hell. Uh, this is a G H. This is the H. This is this is the G. This is the F. Wow, what's your lang your handwriting, bro? All right. Uh, it's this thing, right? No monsters. No monsters. Uh, then we have O is the three lines. O is this thing. And then G is the umbrella, which is this thing. Umbrella. This thing. Okay. Are we seeing anything? Uh. At most. Those. Well, I'm not going to read that. I could probably get the E now, but whatever. Um, ducky, Eldritch Duck, Rubber Ducky. What is going on? <laughs> oh, Shoggy, sorry. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Uh, I... It's this, uh, wait, wait, what thingy? This thingy. There we go. Right? Am I stupid? Shoggy? This, right? Yes. I'm seeing fights, maybe? Those? 
Whatever. I don't. What the fuck was that? There's like. <laughs> there's some other stuff I can click on. What even? Oh, it's gone now. Wait. It disappeared. Maybe I clicked it too many times. Am I gonna die? Um. Anyway. Rubber ducky. Ducky. Eldridge duck. Ducky has become an eldritch being somehow, and is just living it up. <laughs> Instead of bringing terror to everyone, Ducky has used his eldritch powers to make sure that everyone has a really nice day and insists that you take breaks to eat a sandwich. <laughs> Ducky would also like you to know that this means quack, okay? <laughs> so we have a Q here. Um, Q is this one. We have that one. We already, we already got you, right? Didn't we? Uh, yes, we already got you. Uh, A, we already had. C, we already had as well. And then K is this weird thing. Um, K is that one. Uh, I think we're doing fine. Okay, thank you. Ron, I've not been attacked in a while, so... Oh, <laughs> he's back. Does that do anything? Do I have to click that <laughs> or I die? Weird. Uh, Ron Egoth or Rule. Whoops. A big bug god, Ron Egoth or Igoth or something, decided to slumber under the ocean, the ocean near Australia, which is unfortunate because it also drowned. <laughs> Ron Egoth is the biggest, deadest bug in the whole wide world. An excerpt. This is decomposing. Large chunks of his body can be found on a regular basis floating on the shores of the Indian Ocean. Nobody has dared to snack upon his flesh. Dude, look at the size of man compared to this. Uh, what does this mean? Do we have any of these? I don't think we have. Bug? Is this bug? The word for... Do we, do we not have a bee? Does that fit? No, that doesn't fit. Or is it rule? Rule, rule, yeah, R. So that's an R. Um, we're getting there. Which one is this thing, right? That one is an R. No, it looks like it, but not quite. It's so hard to find these sometimes. R. My blind. Oh, this one. There. And then I thought I heard something. Uh, U is this weird sideways V. Wait, didn't... Oh, wait. Huh? No. That can't be, because we already... Huh? We already got the U. It's a Y? Why would it be... Did it say that anywhere? Oh, is this a Y? Oh, it is a Y. I see. Okay. Sorry. Right. It's, it's, this type is, is weird as hell sometimes. It's the weird sideways V, this thing. Okay, it's real. Real. Uh, so this is... L, which we already had. No. L is that one. Okay, now we almost got everything. Mark the resummoning something from the ancient realm. Begin with the middle for... Okay, we're almost there. We can start reading that, but I'm just gonna... <laughs> just gonna click that real quick. Uh, the bugs. They started as a handful. What? Oh, this is an F. The sawtooth thing is an F. Uh, this probably four. Yes. Okay. I need to keep looking because I don't want to die now. We're so far. Uh, they started as a handful of bugs that were found in a small village. One by one, more bugs collected in the center. Forming a large and larger, larger and larger mound that only continued to grow. To avoid the eventual takeover of the world, the bugs were contained in a lead bucket with a lid. Nobody knows what horrors would be found were the buckets to be exposed, or were the bugs to be exposed. I see. In fasted. Could this have been written by Charlotte? No. In fasted. If only I knew how to read. 
What is going on? That's a completely different voice actor than the start. What? Why did he sound so fucking goofy? That is not the same guy as the start at all. It's like Waluigi. Oh, Narlo tap. Didn't we already have that guy? I am infest infested. Uh, causer of deceit and confusion. The largest eldritch threat to humanity. It is known for Narlotep to infest the body of a human and control them for its own motives. Where Narlotep is at the moment is at the moment is unknown, however. However, it has taken someone as its host. Banishment of that individual to the ancient realm is the only way to stop it from shrouding our consciousness in its eventual darkness. Wait, it possessed our our wife? That was going on? Rip. Uh, clock change? Yeah, that's because the clock is always moving and it changes every time. Um, okay then. Is that the last page? That's the last page! Okay, so now, we only have like a few... Let's see. E has gotta be... I wish it would gray out the ones you haven't. That's not it. That is it. Right most. Yes. I'm just guessing now, because this all makes sense. Uh, we still need an N. I just want to make sure not to die. I don't know if I'm not getting attacked by anything. The N is still missing, which is going to be this one. Nope, not at all. Uh, it's going to be this one. Read some... Nope. This one. Nope. I'm just guessing now. I shouldn't be guessing. Uh, look up. I was looking up all the time. Is there something here? Because we can basically read this. Uh, resummoning a loved one from the ancient realm. Begin with the middle four. Re something rest. Something. Uh, what? This we don't have to do anything anymore with, right? This is just madness. Press. Oh, we need to figure this out. Okay, but let's quickly check back here because maybe there is... Because there was another thing that we didn't... This we already got Shoggy, right? Shoggy. Uh, we have that. The Eldritch Board. Was there any, like, N that we can figure out? Is this, like, cl clock? I don't know. Eldritch. Then we have the gorilla thing. Did that have letters? This is the start. That was our first clue. Sorry, I'm just going through this again to see if we... That was mass. That was... This is one that we haven't gotten. Right? <laughs> this is Gobo Gaga. Is this Gobo? Gobo Gag? No. We got some of these. Wait, we got some of these. Let's translate. Uh, this could be a little bit more clear, by the way. <laughs> like, to the game, the, some some user feedback right here. I wish this was slightly clear. Like, maybe have an overlay here that shows the letters I've selected right now. Because this is messy as fuck. Uh, there's something about the gorilla. This? Nof. Oh, Nof by the Nof cat. Okay, yeah, you're right. So this is a G then. Yeah, okay, okay. So this is, this, so that's the N. The N is this symbol. So they are, appears to only once before being quickly banished by the this guy. Yeah, okay, okay. So this is, yes, all right. So we need, the N is first look. Um, N is this weird symbol. N is that one, which almost finishes everything. We need like one more. And then we have an E. Do we have the H, the K? Which ones are we still missing? The Z? Which we don't have here. We are missing the J, which we don't have in there. The P is also missing, right? P is missing. So that is this thing. P is this one. Yes. Nice. Uh, and then the V and W, but that's not in here as well. Can we get that from anywhere? Okay, so we're basically... Will, we can figure out which one. Uh, this one. That's not 
Is that the V, maybe? No. Is that the W? Why is it not marking anything when I click these? Oh, I guess there's no... No, there should be a W in there. Is it this? No. Dude, how are we supposed to know these last letters when they don't show up anywhere? I don't think there's been a W anywhere. I mean, we know we know what it said. I guess we could just read it. Let's just fucking read it. So we... I just wanted to finish the whole language, okay? But anyway, let's just read it. We summoning a loved one from the ancient realm. Begin with the middle four. Press the top corner. Press... The top two corners, then press those right beneath. Okay, wait, we got it. I'm just so scared that something is going to kill me. Uh, okay, we summon the one from the ancient realm. Begin with the middle four. Press the top two corners. Begin with the middle four. Press the top. Oh, sorry. The top. So the middle four, like this. Begin with the middle four. Press the top two corners. So like this. Um, mark the closest row. But wait. Then press those right beneath. Then press those right beneath. Then press those. There's no like punctuation in this shit. Uh, then press those right beneath. And I'm assuming this is like a period. So we do these two, right beneath the two corners. So click and click, right? Maybe I'm insane. Um, and then this sentence. Mark the lowest... Mark the lowest row. Save the rightmost, which will be the last. Which will be last. Say, mark the lowest row. Save, so one, two, three. Um... Press, and then, wait, which will be the last, press the sides remaining, and then those in the upper row. Press the final note, okay. No one here? Uh, press the sides remaining, and then those in the upper row, so sides remaining, upper row, then this one. Yes! <laughs> We're insane with it. We've done it. Beat by beat, <laughs> I saw Charlotte materialize in front of me. Why is the voice different? <laughs> With each moment, I felt my heart lighten. Wahoo! But as her face came into view, uh-oh, my lungs froze. Charlotte's eyes were dead. No, not dead. They were uh, empty. <laughs> Something was horribly wrong. Oh. Is it because I clicked the ducky? Oh, it changed the voice because I clicked the box. <laughs> Whoopsie. With a crack, Charlotte's jaw snapped backwards. Her mouth swinging open in a fully unnatural motion. Oh, mamma mia. <laughs> a guttural noise emanated from her throat. Slowly, her hands grabbed the sides of her mouth and pulled outward. Tearing a gaping hole in her face. <laughs> bit by bit, a dark creature crawled out of her head. Charlotte's body fell to the floor, limp. <laughs> Stock still, I could only stare at the creature looking me over. Then, in a cracking voice, it spoke. Have you released me from that human prison on purpose, little one? <laughs> or were you expecting someone else to appear in my place? I realized that the creature that addressed me was Neil Anthropath! The monster Charlotte had banished herself to entrap! <laughs> Sorry. With a wah! I tried <laughs> to hide my face, but it was no use. Neil Anthropath grabbed me with one hand and cast me into the ancient realm! Wah! <laughs> <laughs> the world was cast into darkness as eldritch beings flooded over human civilization! <laughs> I had brought about a new reign of the ancient gods. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> you missed something! Ending one of two? What the fuck?
fuck? Oh, restart me the full journey. Okay. Oh, okay. So that was because I clicked the ducky. I'm fucking crying, dude. That was the best voice acting I've ever heard. Okay. Restart with full journal. Yes, because we already did that. I'm glad you can do that. Oh, okay. So now everything here is filled in already. So what was the W? The W is that symbol. Okay. So we need to use this thing probably because we got grabbed by the thing once. We didn't open this box, so we have to figure- This game is amazing. <laughs> we have to figure out this box. What's going- Oh, we need to figure out- Fill in the password madness, probably, right? Madness? Is that what we gotta do? Yeah, for sure. M- A- Okay. M- A- So that- Oh, this is hard to remember. I don't know. My brain doesn't figure- So, leaf- Pliers, or like- Nail clipper. <laughs> nail clipper. It's leaf- Nil clipper. Arrow. Nil clipper. And then the remaining. Leaf. Nil clipper. Arrow. Oh, fuck. Wait. This is not the same password. Wait. It's not madness. Oh, nil. Oh, because there's, there's red herrings in there. Uh, nail clipper. <laughs> and then what's the S? I didn't look at the S because I didn't... Ex okay, wait, what is S? S is the two thing. Okay. Leaf. <laughs> nail clipper. Arrow. Nail clipper. Boom, boom. I in the background? Where? 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 Did I click the wrong arrow? Whoops. Wait, which arrow? Oh, this one. Leaf. Nail clipper. Arrow, nail clipper, this, this. Am I stupid? Mad. Oh, I forget the N. I am stupid. It's this thing. <laughs> I am typing mad ass, dude. <laughs> Sorry. This fucking thing. <laughs> the eyeball. Wait, what's, where's the eyeball? Sorry. <laughs> Leaf, nail clipper, arrow, uh, this one, <laughs> and then, wait, it's not nail clipper, it's mad, it's this one, this one, this one. There we go, I'm so stupid. <laughs> okay. What? If you are reading this, a loved one has been infested with the soul of Nyarlotep and banished to the ancient realm. This has traditionally been a hopeless loss of someone special. However, I have done much research of the ancient texts and believe I have found something important that I must hide so it cannot be undone by evil. Being- uh, evil beings. Bringing your loved one back can be done with the use of the Eldritch Board. Doing so will also bring the soul of Narlotep with them and the world will fall into chaos. However, where the first and last steps of the board sequence switched. What? I have reason to believe this will split the souls apart and bring your loved one back without the darkness. I pray you use this information with immense caution, as if I am wrong, humanity as we know it could cease. Okay. Uh. Still smoking. So we need to do the... The first and last step need to be re reversed. So we need to end... We need to start with this one and end with the middle squares. I- Why do you guys keep saying the eyes there? I'm not seeing anything. Am I sh do I have to click on it? Can we do ducky again? Door frame eyeball. It's not there. You guys are lying. He left. Okay. So we start with that, and then the rest we do still the same. Okay. Top two corners. Then- Wait. Middle four, then press the top two corners, then press those right beneath. So these. Um, then we do... <clears throat> right beneath. Mark the lowest row. Save the rightmost. But we already did that. Um... Say, look. Jelly says, thank you for the five gift subs. Uh, which will be, say the right most. The sides, first the side remaining, then those in the upper row. Side remaining, so upper row, and then this. We've done it. It works. Bit by bit, I saw Charlotte materialize in front of me. She fell down. Coughing a black sludge onto the floor. 
I picked her up and ran outside the library. <clears throat> she continued to cough, but less and less material came out of her lungs. After many a minutes, she stopped altogether. Slowly, she lifted her head, and I looked into her eyes. <laughs> With a wave of relief, I saw. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect it. I just. With a wave of relief, I saw my wife looking back at me. She was pale, starving, and exhausted, but she was whole. <laughs> Together, we slowly made our way to the closest town. I purchased a room for the night at a small inn. While <laughs> I sat pondering what had taken place at the evening, and oh, mama, what an evening! Charlotte collapsed into bed and slept peacefully. All was right. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was insane, dude. What a game. <laughs> Oh, man, I did that by accident, but I'm so glad I did. All is right. There we go. Was that all achievements? Is there something left? Uh, no, we did all achievements. <laughs> wow, achievements as well. Only 46% of players get that one. All right, that was an amazing game. I really enjoyed that. Enjoyed the, like, puzzle aspect, the voice acting there. Uh, love the atmosphere. I kind of missed what I was supposed to do with the eyeball monster, like, looking up. People kept saying I saw an eyeball, but I didn't see it. But I guess me looking up just prevented the eyeball from stealing the box. And then we had to figure out the puzzle of the box, um, which then gave us the other ending. So, yeah, I, I, I had a lot of fun with that. That was a great game. So, yeah, let me know what you thought over on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed that. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you liked the video, like it. If you just like it, just like it. And if you want to join, the lovely game is here in chat. You can join us over at twitch.tv slash Instagram. Get the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, dude, I love how he broke character. <laughs> this is so fucking good. That was amazing. Yeah, that was a fun. I love that both of those games were slightly unserious. Uh, so we did everything. Nice. Let's go. <clears throat> amazing game. Wow. <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> All right, so that was that. Now it is time for the game by Emeka Games, which is a dev that I always play the games of because I've been really enjoying basically every single one of their games. Ooh. Oh, baby, what the fuck? It's a damn jam? <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> this one is called, what is it? Uh. Language selection. English, please. I'm counting the six, I think is what it's called. I'm counting the six, yes. <laughs> That's what it's called. Uh, if you want to change the title over on... Over on Twitch show. Okay, anyway. Slightly... The view is fine. Head bobbing is... I'm going to turn that off just for people. Everything else I'll leave. I'll leave by default. Video settings. Slightly higher, please. They're going to lower... What the fuck? Uh, frame rate, we'll do 120. Ultra, 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 ultra. <clears throat> um, what? What the fuck just happened? Something exploded? Uh, anyway. We're gonna go say hi, uh, to YouTube. <clears throat> and have a lovely time. Ghost event. Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to I I'm counting to six. This is a game made by Emika Games, which if you've watched the channel for a while, you know that name because I have basically played every single game made by this developer. I absolutely love his style. He has this like short little horror style where it's like one or 30 minutes to an hour and you're just getting absolutely blasted by awesome jump scares that I really hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game, lads. Let's go. Alrighty. I'm not gonna click select level because that's gonna spoil. I did everything, right? I thought someone was yelling at me. The gamma could go up, but I'm gonna just leave that at default. Controls is fine. I think everything's fine. I'm not gonna put the frame rate on unlimited, otherwise we're gonna get dead. Uh, new game. Oh, the story is about a small village. At first glance, there is no different from, it is no different from other villages, but something happened in it that changed the lives of everyone involved in this story. Take a look at this, and you will see mystery shrouded in a strange fog. 
And also this story is about a man who happened to be in that village by accident and who will have to influence the outcome of a mystical event. What in the fuck? Music? <clears throat> Let's go. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> Music was loud. Help us? You don't belong here? Please help us? <coughs> how- How does head hurt? <laughs> what? The phone is not working. There's- here's no signal. I think I drove into the village. It's getting late. I'm going to look around. I need to find where to call from. I got an achievement called The Mist. Uh, this game looks insane. Insane graphics. What the hell? I need to fix the audio. It's way too loud. <clears throat> I'm going to turn that down to 65. And then we're going to increase the mouth se mouse sensitivity because this is unplayable. Nice. Uh, it's maybe slightly laggy. Maybe I shouldn't have turned it all the way up to ultra. <coughs> maybe. Dude, look at this. It's crazy looking. Uh, did we come? We come by a car. Uh, did we crash? Need to find help. I wanted to see my vehicle. Did you crash and not say anything about it, sir? All right then. I'm impressed. Unreal Engine, probably. RTX on. Actually, you can make games look pretty insane with Unity as well. I've played some photorealistic Unity games. Can I steal? I'm hearing all kinds of weird sounds. That's a big bird. We're going to a village, right? Some weird village. This dev has made so many. Oh, my camera just panned over there. Uh, this game. This dev has made so many cool games. Cinematic. Please help me. I need to call to emergency. Oh. Something in there doesn't sound very friendly. Can I interact with this? There's a letter. Aha. We have to protect our children. It wasn't their fault. It was an accident. No, we're not going to touch this witch's body. We're going to pretend we don't know anything. What was that? Was that a scream at the same time? Uh, we're going to pretend we don't know anything. It will be better for all of us. If he finds her, he'll think it was an accident. There is nothing he can do. Okay, then. I'm going to go towards that scream. This game is- it's dark, but I can still see very well. It strikes a good balance. Uh, I'm seeing all kinds of... Cyrillic script that I can't read. I hear the windows rumbling. Nippo aho <laughs> NPO. I don't know what any of this means, man. Ring ring! Oh. Let's pick up the phone. That's totally not going to be an ominous demon calling us or anything. For It says for sale. I see. Does not work. Oh. Uh, what's this light? What does that say? Probably missing child or something? Looks like a missing child. I'm going to go past this. I'm really digging the lighting here. It says missing kid. Okay. Thank you guys for knowing what that says, by the way. I will be, I will be missing out on all this lore. Look behind. Did I miss something? I don't see anything. Uh, what? Hello? Hey, can you help me? It's a guy. Is he gonna attack me or is he dead? He looks kind of dead. Yeah, he's rotten and stuff. 
I was sitting in a boat on the lake when I saw that the fog had descended onto the water. I tried to swim to the shore, but I couldn't see anything. Finally, when I touched the shore, I rather ran home. In the house, I saw that my wife was frozen like a statue, and my dear children were motionless. I ran out of the house in fright to find at least someone who can help me. Rip. He's dead. Need to get out of here. Take his boat. No one's gonna know. Hi. Um, I wasn't about to steal this guy's boat, I swear. I am um, totally innocent. Hello, sir? What the fuck? Lemon Helm, thank you for the 23, tier 3. Hi! The fuck are you, bro? <laughs> you just chilling here? Am I supposed to not see you? What the fuck is this guy? Okay, is there anything else on this island or are we just gonna go across again? A little bench here. I don't even know, man. He got electrocuted while hold. No. Anyway, I'm going back across. He's just he's just chilling. I see another light over there. Light means we gotta go there. That's game design right there. Do I leave footsteps? Oh, call again. Oh, it's a different phone. <clears throat> Someone called into the house. These things, the fact that they actually put these things, and they still do put these things into a lot of children playgrounds is insane. This is like an actual torture device. Like this is the most unsafe play device of all time. Like the amount of children that must have fucking like gotten severe injuries from hitting their head on any of these bars is like, <laughs> it must be <laughs> immense. There's no way that's good for them. I'm getting a phone call. Guess I go in. Can I go in here? I mean, there's light here. Is anyone there? Uh, did I just get luck? Hi, what the fuck? This is just normal now. Oh. Excuse me. It disappeared. I blinked and it was gone. Creepy ass game. I warned them. Those dirty little kids sh shouldn't have bullied him and his doll. I told their parents that what's the use if they're the same themselves? They also called me crazy. The door opened again. All right then. I don't have control over my. Okay. The black swan. Thank you for the thirty-seven. Uh, something is on fire. It's insane looking, by the way. Fuck, did someone just ran past me? Very cool. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Got gray atmosphere. Is that a witch fire? Probably. There's a bunch of mannequins. Rest in peace. German destruction angel. Thank you for the five gifts. Uh, rip. Oh my god, uh. Hold on. There's a letter. It's all your fault. I haven't done anything wrong to you. My only friend was my doll, but you were laughing at him. Laughing at me. You even took a loved one away from me, and I've shown you what it's like. You will live in agony forever, and this will not change in any way. 
mannequins. I love these goofy ass mannequins with the smiley faces. Oh, I, I was gonna say if I can play that guitar, that would be. Fuck, that'd be insane. But it actually let me. Someone just go to the toilet. This is the Shrek toilet. No one in here. Uh, anyway. Recycling Polska? <laughs> I guess I'm going up here. Can't really see much. Okay, there we go. We're going. We have subtitles. Don't you guys see the subtitles? Side. The heart of darkness achieved. Uh, this is a very destroyed house. It was the old well. What I saw there. Oh, maybe I should move chat so you guys can read with me. <clears throat> there you go. It was it the old well? What I saw there and what Luca told me is true. They have to pay for it. I have to punish them. Got a voodoo doll. And uh, some kind of picture. Oh, what the fuck? That, I did not expect to see the face of that guy. <laughs> I just see look. He's, he's got like, I farted. <laughs> I hope she doesn't notice kind of face. And she is like, I definitely noticed. <laughs> because look at her face. She's smelling it right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Is someone sitting on a rocking chair? Anyway. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't open any of these freaking doors. Do I have to move this aside? Push this out of the way. Okay, I guess I'm going through this. Okay then. Ah, hi there. Definitely a graphical step up, step up from his uh, previous games. Very cool. Hi there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what am I doing here? I have to leave. Get this crap out of me. Are we? Hi. Hi there, little dude. Door still. The door is gonna be nailed shut. No. Let's still not go through that. I just slammed the door in my own face. There are bars all over the window. I need to find another way out of here. Uh oh. Whoops. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> what the hell, man? Relax, brother. This looks very dangerous. There's no light bulb here. Oh, yeah, it's a broken light bulb. Um, hi, buddy. Someone is fucking fucking with me. Don't make my flashlight go out, please. I need this thing. Please. It's hunting. What is going on here? That's what I'm saying. Did I just get a fucking message? Doop -a -doop. Oh, wait, is this my phone camera or something? What the hell is going on? Did I already read this? It had to happen. When I saw that boy through the window, I realized that he saw something he shouldn't have. I need to get ahead of him. Oh no. Hi. Hi, buddy. Can't go this way. Okay, then. 
You still out there? Nope. Oh. Don't do the fucking knocking sound. <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck is this? Uh, he ran over here. The door just closed. There's nothing in here. Um, dog disappear? You're still there. Wait, is there something in here I'm supposed to see? It's the welcome to the game sound. It's the welcome to the game to like a uh, fucked up website. What? Where is- is this in the other room? <laughs> I need to play Welcome to the Game 2 again. When is Dead Signal getting Nightmare Mode, by the way? Shit's taking forever. Is that the phone? What's oh, the radio. I don't know what the hell- Oh, there's a note here. I can only saw what I feel to- Say what I feel to my doll. Luca always listen to me. Luca is my friend. What? I love that they spelled Luca twice with a different... <laughs> different letter. Oh, hi there. I need to find a way up to the attic. Maybe there's a window in there. Did someone just fucking... At my face? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Bro, rude. Is there a chair I can use? Chair! Use the chair. Use this thing. So many- Oh, I can crouch now. I don't think I can crouch before. Trying to wake me up. I mean, do I need to find like something to pull it down? There's so many ways I could get up there. Depends on what- This maybe? I could use this thing, the vacuum cleaner here. Hi there. Oh, a little plane. What's a bed here? Hi, buddy. Um, there was this ladder, yeah. Hi. Okay, then. I'm just gonna go. Guys, <laughs> you bunch of trolls. Uh, there's a demonic altar up here. Plus other shit. Children's toys, a Rubik's cube. That's actually solved. The least realistic part of this game is that right there. It's been four weeks since... It Disappearance. Luca told me that it was the children's fault. He gave me a letter from his mother and he said I have to find out the truth. These fucking guys are everywhere. Uh, what the heck is this shit? Voodoo dolls and other shenanigans. Why does it go back down? You know. One, I lock the doors. Two, I close my eyes. Three, find a place for yourself. Four, don't breathe. Five, feel your heart pounding. Six, wait. Oh no. The ladder has fallen. Must jump. Okay then. So jump. I need to find a place to hide. Uh, Jesus Christ, there was something in there. I saw like a lady. See that? Do I hide? Hide here. It's not a very good hiding spot. I'm like out in the open. Uh, 
what is this? Can I open the closet? Oh, there's someone in there. Some- this closet is like far- Oh. Aha! What the fuck? <laughs> Hello there. Don't breathe. Um, there's a secret door here. There must be keys and a crowbar somewhere. Of course, it can't be a horror game if there's no crowbar. To open the lock, use the hints. Lock, phone, key. Thank you. Lock, phone, so we go phone. That's phone, right? Phone. Um. Oh. Oh, I found the key. What the fuck is that picture? Someone is running outside, bro. Oh, another one? Um. Lock. Okay, it's at the radiator outside here. Right, that was here. There's a key. Aha! Uh -huh. One more. Is there another note here with a further hints? Maybe on the table now? Nope, that's still the same note. I'm assuming we need three keys. It's usually how these things work. Was there? I'm gonna try. Oh, no, there's another one. Um, what is that? He found it. Is it a full moon, by the way? I don't think so. I just saw a lot of light coming through my window. Um, where is this? It's like a vanity looking thingy. Um, the draw. Is it in this one? Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, you piece of shit. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> uh, this thing? No. Wait, there's a note here. It's been two weeks since my mom disappeared. There's no news. I went to the precinct officer, but he doesn't care about it. He said she left because of me, but I know she wouldn't do that. She loves me. Something must have happened to her. Oops, there's a... Oh. That was bad, man. Dude, that one child in the middle was like, Ooh! What am I looking for? Jesus Christ. Hi. Wait, I can keep- I can touch- What? Was there something for me to touch here? Um... Oh, is this? Aha! What? Why did my camera just pan over there? What the fuck? Isn't this what- Oh! Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> I appreciate it. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Uh, did I, the crowbar? Did I get a crowbar just now? I don't know what's happening. Oh my God, stop it! <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> you suck. I think that's everything. Good. Yes. It's fucking fuck you, man. <laughs> that was unexpected. Um, let there be blood achievement. What is this place? <laughs> they plucked me in. I don't need to go there now. Okay, thank you. Go. Tick, tick on will understand if you're will understand you if you're mad at me. I knew that deep down you wanted to have real friends and you mess missed the live communication with other people. I couldn't let anyone get close to our family, otherwise they would have found out my secret or our secret. 
And what happened to me now would have happened much earlier. You were kind to everyone, but they didn't deserve it. I wanted the best for you. My mother, your grandmother, taught me many things, and she also taught, told me not to trust people because they are afraid of people like me. Tekken? Tekken? Alright, whatever. Oh, just stop. Chill, brother. Um. New door. <laughs> stop at the fucking clapping, bro. Was something here? Clap, clap, clap in my face. Oh, it's gone. Um. Pictures. Can't zoom in on the pictures. I hear weird sounds, but I can't open this door. Nor can I open this door. Nor is there really anything for me to pick up here? Window? Is the letter change in any way? No. It's on the bed? Oh, hi. What the actual fuck? That is not a very nice doll. Didn't get me that time. Got a knife. I stab something? Can't like pry open the door or anything. It doesn't seem like it. Come on, turn on. Oh, geez, there was some kind of tool there. Doop -doop. Hi. What? Uh, new mannequins now. <laughs> this thing is. Here. I can't go past any of these pieces of shit. You got something for me? What the fuck do you look like that? Go back now? I don't have a place to hide! Uh-oh. Where do I hide? I'm not... I'm not hiding, I'm just standing still. This is not a very good hiding spot. Um, lots of sounds. Are we good? Can I move? We good? Did we get stabbed? 
Oh no, I need to stab. <laughs> oh, I see. That was cool. <laughs> Prisoner's achievement. Um, oh, we're going down. That's a bad idea. Six kids bullied me. They mocked me because I was too kind. Because I'm not like everyone else. They were involved in the murder of my mother. I was able to punish five people. They wanted to so much to go home to their mother and dad. I let their parents find the children on my doorstep, but what they saw, they couldn't believe their eyes. Their children, excuse me. Now they're just, you're going to suffer just like me. Alrighty then. Uh, you're a little fucked up. Someone there, move in. See that? Can I go through this somehow? I think I am stuck. I don't have a crowbar. Oh, this. Mega curse. Can I open any of these boxes? Cannot. What does one use for? What do I use the crowbar for? This? No. Or the screwdriver. Stop it! Go back up? I can't, it's locked! Philip Salba, thank you for the 12 months, the one year. Um, power back on? Yeah, stab it in there. That's totally gonna end well. Something happened over here, but I can't see anything. There's power cables and stuff. All right, lady. You okay? Is there any screw things I can unscrew? I'm not seeing anything. Maybe move this apart. Something at the back. Um. Can't open this either. Is that like a vent or something? Maybe break the hinges of the door. No, none of that. Oh, there's this! Ah, I see. I see. Vent at the door. Among Us. Oh, I'm on the other side of this now. Lights are turning on. There's a doll there. What the fuck? Oh, messed up. Dear son, don't be afraid of death. Death is rebirth. You've done a lot. A new stage has arrived. Let them think they've beaten you. It will destroy them. Um. Okay then. Someone broke down the planks. Can I pick up the lighter? Ah, uh, the fuck are those pictures? There's smudge stick here. There is a smudge stick. The smudge stick. Oh, more mannequins. Lovely. Red means scary. No, thank you. I would like to leave. I thought I was gonna get chased. Um. Someone dancing over there. You see that? <laughs> what the fuck is going on with you? Do I go to the vent again? Nope. 
Um, yeah, but I'm a little confused as to what this lady's doing. Can I click on you to get you out of the way somehow? Oh, I can go past this now, I see. Hi, Bill. <laughs> fucking scratching noise. Can't open any of this. Go back. Oh, come on, stop it! You're blocking me. Did one of these open? Still cannot go here. Is there a key somewhere in here? You got something for me? You got a hammer? Cannot use the hammer. Any key on the floor? I'm hearing all kinds of weird noises. Just looking for pages or something to read? The fuck? What else is there for me to do? Am I missing something? Am I missing a... <laughs> Using headphones was a bad idea. <laughs> Definitely. There, there. there was a page in the last room? I'm confused. Do you have something for me? Oh, no. Oh, bolt cutters! What the fuck? I mean, I can't be a horror game without bolt cutters. We've said this before. All right, then. <laughs> Just randomly laying around. saw what he did to one of us with someone who didn't have time to hide it was terrible he said that he would return us to our parents only in this form it was true this is the house of the one who kidnapped the children people found out about everything and came to deal with it I see oh there's the sleeping quarters he cut out our tongue and so sewed, sewed up our mouth so we couldn't scream. What the fuck? He wanted us to play with him. We asked to go home. He said we were sorry. Said we were sorry, but he replied that the time would come and the parents would see us again. This is messed up, brother. Go back up. I'm gonna leave. Sequel to Summer of 58. I think it might be related to them. Emika Games tends to make the games in a similar style. Alright then. Jesus. I wanna see what this lady was dancing about. Hi. Uh, my camera's locked. Open the book. Yep, that's totally not gonna end bad. I'm reading something. I need a lighter, a doll, and candles. Well, we know what a lighter is. We have these candles. Lighter, a doll? What does it read? Can I read it? Or just say the same thing. In order to perform the ritual, take a doll, a book, candles, a lighter, burn it in a circle, and then burn the house down. Okay, Jesus. This is the doll? No? We got gasoline here, luckily. Okay, we need, uh... Oh, uh, I see, I see. We got the pentagram here. Find a doll somewhere. Candles. Did I pick these up? I don't pick these up. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so unexpected every time. Beavis. Hi. Found a doll. <laughs> Six kids. Holy. That's what I already read. 
Okay, now we need a book, right? Go further back for the book. Cannot. Cannot go further back. That's one way to wake up. Yes, for sure. This is still not open. There was another door to the side here, right? That I unlocked earlier. Wait, didn't I? Oh, I can go back here. Was there anything? I don't remember seeing... <laughs> Just that, like, painting stuff. I can't zoom in on this. I wish I had a zoom function. Not me oh. Oh, it's just closing the door. Yeah, I opened these doors with the um, bolt cutter. There's like nothing here. I already got, I already opened these. Or read these, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what the hell am I missing? We need book. Book. Any book around here. No books. Last time it was just laying about, so maybe that's gonna be the same this time. Maybe it's just in the in the same room as before. Or do you have the book? Oh, we need a candle. But where's the candle? I don't see any candle. These freaking Molotovs. Oh no, it was just some alcohol. Candles! Candles! Candles right there! There's a box of candles, bro. What is that not can is that wood? It looks like candles. No, it's wood. Why do you have a box of wood? What is that even for? <laughs> the fuck? No, I can't pick any of this shit up. Oh, there's a box there's a box of candles. Okay, I see. Is that what we need? Put the candles down, we got the Oh yeah, alright then. <laughs> You have no idea what you've done. Have I unleashed the demon? Let's get out of here. I need gasoline to burn the house down. I am very confused. I have gasoline right here. Empty. Ah, shit. All right, well, I don't remember seeing any other gasoline, so that's a little unfortunate. I guess I already used that to burn the doll. Is there gasoline around somewhere? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened just there. But... I don't know. I guess I'm alive. I expected I would be dead there, and that would be the end, but that's not how it ends. Can I just go... The woman painting! Ha yeah, 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 yeah. There was a gasoline canister back here. Right? With this painting? Yes, there is. It's empty! Wait, I don't remember any other one. What the fuck? There's nothing here, right? That's just an empty room. Maybe we gotta check back. There is no gasoline. Why would the kids have gasoline? Doesn't make any sense. Alright, guess we go the other way? I don't know. It's confusing. Yeah, why would you be rude to me after I release you, you dickhead? Their bucket of gasoline. Probably gonna be closed. I can't go out here. Okay, so there must be gasoline somewhere. What the hell? Gasoline for strong bones. I'm being gaslit right now. Um. And bolt cut this. Oh, there! I just randomly clicked around. Okay. What the fuck? All right, then. I was literally just spamming click everywhere. I hear stuff going down in flames. Music. 
We're gonna drive away. See the fire. I'm counting to six achievement. Dude, the music. But how are we gonna get out of here? We don't have a car. We're, we've gone full circle. The place is on fire again. It's a damn jam. Uh, are we gonna take this broken ass car? We're gonna just walk back on foot. Telephone connection. We're gonna be like, why did you burn the house then? Well, the demon told me to. Hello, rescue service. What happened to you? Yeah, I just burned down a house. Don't ask me. Hello, I see a house burning in an abandoned village. You did that. Call the fire department. I'll explain <laughs> where I am now. Okay. I thought you said, I'm gonna explain what I did. I recently watched a blogger. He said that he did not believe in anything paranormal and was in houses where, according to eyewitnesses, something was happening. But he didn't find any evidence until one day he arrived in an abandoned pioneer camp. Wait, this is connected to Summer of 58. To be honest, I didn't believe him. I thought that everything he filmed was staged. But now, after everything I've seen and experienced, I realize that the world is not as simple as it seems. And we are not alone. Entities are always nearby, and until you see it for yourself, you won't believe it. I do not know why I decided on this ritual. I wanted to run, but something inside me demanded to put an end to all this. As a result, I realized that I was in this place for a reason, but I have no idea what lies ahead of me. Okay, so they are connected. So this was the game that was teased there? Because I remember... Was that the... No. It was one game that was teased at the end of... 58? I don't know if that was this one. And then Emeka Games was almost going to get shut down. Um, because they, like, had this problem where a lot of people would refund their games. Because they're shorter than two hours. Uh, but then they ended up making more games, which I've also played their more games. So if you want to check out any other Emeka Games uh, or videos that I've made on their games, you can check out the playlist over on the top right. It was honestly one of the first... Dev or ver first studios that I started playing besides Phasmo when I pivoted to uh, horror content when Phasmo came out. So yeah, they're uh, near and dear to my heart. They're a little jump scare heavy, but I don't mind jump scare heavy games. I think they're fun. They're a little relief of tension. Sometimes, uh, I mean, they, they can be, you can consider them cheap. Uh, but I thought the atmosphere there was pretty well done. The graphics were incredible. Uh, I don't really understand the story. Uh, there's like a cra crazy ass guy that killed six children because they bullied him or something. And then you do a ritual for that person and then you leave <laughs> a little bit confusing but still uh if you want to watch specifically summer of 58 that is the other one that seems to be connected to this one because summer of 58 has that uh at the end there that feels really random if you don't know that game where there's like a story of another blogger who went to an abandoned house and saw a bunch of stuff that is that game in that game you do that story so yeah anyway that was a fun game. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely games here in chat, you can join us over at twist.tv slash insum. Or get the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Alrighty, we did it. Let's go. Uh, next one. Even more. We're going to be playing uh, Caught on Camera, which is observation duty. It's observation duty time. Ooh. <clears throat> What's going on here? Oh, there's three levels now. Oh, maybe that's too long. Wait. I didn't expect... I don't know how long it's... Maybe we can do all three levels. That seems fine. Uh, but you guys can see it. Oops, sorry. They added so much more content to this. I remember it was only one level before. Um, let's see. Wait, was it only one level? Is this a damn... It's a damn jam. <laughs> I guess we do... Quality can be a little higher than that. What the hell? Quality high, yes. Oh, that's so much better. Uh, do we start with the plain house? Damn, this is... It's a damn jam. I don't know, because we already did the plain house. I think we should start with... At the bottom? Or hotel, maybe. Let's do hotel. Because we did plain house. We're going to do plain house as well, but we already did that one. And I don't think these maps were there yet, if I remember. Let's do hotel.
Survival till 6 a.m. Report any anomalies. A warning will appear. If you have too many anomalies, take a moment to read the report section, bottom right on the screen, to see all the types of anomalies that exist. We are pro at this. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Uh, what do we got going on here? So this is uh, caught on camera. We have moved replaced objects. So it is an observation duty game, obviously. Uh, we have missing objects, strange light, distorted objects, extra objects, strange painting, intruder, and other. We got one, two, three, four, five different places we can report. Oh, no, we did, no, we did do this one. Wait, no, let's do factory, because factory is new. Never mind, let's do factory. Uh, I, we will do this one, and then we'll loop back around. Because I think this... I remember that. I remember the sides there. I want to start at the hardest level. Let's see. Oh, boy. Uh, here we are. Uh, what do we got? Let's see. Uh, entrance, factory, storeroom, basement, restroom. We have intruders, which the intruders in this game, by the way, look like alternates, which is one of the uh, main things I love about this game. We got strange painting, extra objects, other, which is like everything else, I guess. Disordered objects, strange light, missing objects, and replaced objects. So we're going to be having to play very close attention because replaced object, missing object is going to be very tough. So let's see. What do we got right here? So first of all, we got to just count basically everything. We got three gasoline cans right here in the factory. It's only five cans. Okay, that should be doable. Uh, we have some pylons or pillars or whatever. Uh, we have a deflated football. We got a shoe. If the shoe disappears, we got to know. We got three tires, two barrels... Can't wait to be attacked by anomalies everywhere. We got two barrels, two, like, giant spools. Uh, we got ghosts. Is that normal? <laughs> Was that there before? I kind of flicked through this really fast. But we have two ghost-looking things. Rope, a machine covered up. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chairs, three barrels, and a ladder. Um, this one we haven't seen yet. We have... It's also very quiet. Can I turn up the volume? Real colors? The fuck? Well, uh, I guess I'm going to turn it up manually like this. Very quiet. It's going to be loud when we go back to the menu, though. Okay. Do not enter, it says up here. By the way. We have... This is going to be tough if it's, like, super detailed. I don't see anything in the back there. Oh, wait, what? Oh, the rest room as well. Uh, we have two buckets. We got some paint. Two of these canisters. We have some weird drawings on the wall. We got mushrooms growing in the toilet. That is a nasty toilet. We got three cigarette pa uh, package packages, uh, three beer bottles. That is a strange light, I would say. Strange light right there. Get that out of here. That's in the entrance. Red means scary. You know it. I thought I heard weird sound. So we just need to survive until 6 a.m. as per usual. Uh, you never. Jesus Christ. Uh, that is loud. You never know what's gonna what's gonna attack us. It's very bright. Some of these rooms are very bright. I want to report this. I don't know if there's punishments. Uh, is this like an intruder in the storeroom? Because that doesn't seem like it's normal. And so thank you for the eight. Uh, it's probably not found. Okay, never mind then. I was wrong. Thank you so much for beeping in my ears. Um, this doesn't change. We need to count. So there's basically three of everything here. Well. Three of this, three of that, three of this, plus one here. Two, two. I'm just, you never know at what level of detail you need to remember these. Was the door always open? I'm assuming it was, but I'm not sure. Uh, Light Wolf, thank you for the prime. Let's see. Uh, sorry, I'm like missing with the volume. It's very quiet. If you don't have a headset, you probably can't even hear anything. But I don't want to overblast it. It was open. There we go. This door was open before. Uh, I mean, usually it starts off pretty slow, so we can kind of just relax and take everything in. And then it will slowly get more crazy over time. And also, sometimes you'll have, like, very easy rounds, and other times you have very hard rounds. It depends. Uh on the way the RNG dishes out the stuff. Sometimes you'll get, like, a bunch of people showing up in your face, and you're like, wait a minute, it's extra tire? Yeah, there is an extra tire! There were three tires before, right? Extra object in entrance? Uh, I swear we count to three. There's basically three of everything. Trash bag is missing in what room? Was it? It was. That's very sneaky. 
Thank you. That always do observation duty games. Are okay, then. <laughs> I think that's a little weird. I'm going to say, is that extra object? <laughs> okay. That is pretty obvious. Uh, we're going to say that is intruders in the storeroom. <laughs> it's a ghost party, dude. Unless it's not intruders and it's just extra object. It is not an intruder. What the fuck? I guess it is extra object or other. Looks totally normal. Just leave that there for everyone that comes into the stream later. It's going to be confused as hell. Okay, it was an extra object, I see. Goodbye. No more. Seems to be quite a lot of anomalies happening uh, pretty fast. It's interesting, like, every every Observation Duty game balances the difficulty differently. Uh, it seems like the anomalies so far have been relatively obvious. But they come pretty quickly. Uh, barrier in the entrance is gone. Isn't that supposed to be there? I swear- Oh, this one! There was another one here, right? Next to the shoe? There was something next to the shoe that's gone now. I don't know what it was, but the shoe was not alone. The shoe had a friend. What was the friend of the shoe? Was it a chair or a trash bag? It was something. It was... I don't even know what that is, but it, it's back. That's all that matters. Three over there. Oh, man. I'm going to suck at this. Without you guys, I'd never be able to play these Observation Duty games. There's a garbage bag in the storeroom missing. Uh, You guys are insane at this. Really? There were three garbage bags? There was one extra here? Extra chairs? No, there's always seven chairs. You are right! Damn, there's so many. There was another one. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> this is hard as hell. The fuck? Which, by... Uh, I saw people uh, comment about this uh, a moment ago. When are CJ, you and Psycho doing some ghost hunting? There actually might be a relatively real possibility... What the fuck is that? That we will be doing something IRL this year. Because I think all of us, if Psycho can come to TwitchCon, we're all going to be at TwitchCon. Which means that we have a moment to do something wacky. I don't know how I would IRL stream. But if we can go to like a ghost hunt together, that would be insane. <laughs> CJ was like already theory crafting everything he wanted to do. <laughs> If we can stream it, that would be sick. Real life ghost hunting. I mean, I got all the gear. I got the thermo. We got the thermo right here. We got the spirit box right here. <laughs> we got the EMF. <laughs> I've never used these things. They're just collecting dust on the table here. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I need to get a dots projector. Okay, we're missing something though. We gotta pay attention. I know it's exciting. Uh, three tires, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, that is a new thing. That was not there before. I'm gonna say factory extra object, the, the laundry machine. Yeah, it would be very fun. I mean, just I'm just excited that TwitchCon will be in, uh, in the Netherlands every year. Wait, what? It was there? Excuse me, what did it fix? <laughs> Wait, it was always there? Really? I guess I accidentally got something? Or is there two of them? Do I have to report again? Is it distorted? Wait, what? It said fixing. So something got fixed. Okay, so it's one of those where if there's two... Yeah, okay. So if there's two of the same anomaly on a, on a camera, it won't fix all of them at the same time. You have to report multiple of the same, which is good to know. There's always different uh, observation duty game handled that differently. Um, so we'll keep that in mind. I'm not seeing anything here. Oh, we're so gonna get wrecked here. Oh, there's two shoes! Two shoes, extra object in the entrance. Not on my watch. Four trash bags is normal. That was there before. So yeah, if you want to come to TwitchCon, you might spot me there. There is an extra trash bag? I swear it was four every time. Because they're, uh, they, they wanted to change it. That's what the Twitchio told us during, uh, what the fuck, Strange Light here. When we had, uh, dinner in December. 
that they are basically losing money every year doing TwitchCon, which makes sense. It's expensive to do conventions. Uh, wait, what? Oh, it's, I guess it's moving. I think there's four trash bags as normal, guys. Uh, I guess it is moved object then. So to cut some costs, they wanted to make it so that the uh, TwitchCon is in the same place every year. So they can just, like, they can do some cost cutting there. Which they decided to do that in the Netherlands, which is very exciting for me, because that's where I live. Let's go. <laughs> very convenient, because I can never go if it's somewhere else. Uh, Sam and Colby are ghost hunters. Weren't they the ones that did the Conjuring House video? That John Wolf reacted to? I am not familiar with any of the, like, real-life ghost hunting video people. I've never gotten into that rabbit hole yet. I just think that, like, not to be rude to anyone that does that stuff. Like, we just do it to see, like, a spooky house. And not necessarily ghosts, because you're ne not going to see a ghost. If, you if it would be as easy to... Like, if just walking into an abandoned house late at night would give you proof of ghosts existing, everyone would be... Everyone would know about ghosts, right? <laughs> and that's not the case. So, Oh, there's a person standing there! What the fuck? So, especially YouTube videos that are about... What? Ghost... Oh my god. Um... Holy, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas. That like, guy was a spooky boy. <laughs> especially, as I was gonna say, especially YouTube videos that are about ghost hunting. Like, as a YouTuber myself, you have to make consistent content, so you would have to just force something, right? That's like the only way you would get consistent YouTube videos on ghost stuff. Uh, unless you, I guess, compile stuff that other people make, but then still, the other people might fake it. It's just, uh, like, the, the YouTube, YouTube content, like, you always gotta think who is benefiting from this being real. Like, the people making the video, obviously. <laughs> like, it's, there's just too much monetary incentive there. Uh, like, the crazier, the better, right? The, a video titled, Ghost pulls my leg and smashes me to the ground is gonna get way more views than... Ghost gently pushes a thing off the table. Extra door. All right? So it's just like people are incentivized to just make crazier and crazier things. Uh, factory. Smacks my ass. <laughs> Ghost pulls my leg and smacks my ass. <laughs> I'd watch that video. <laughs> uh, what? It was an extra door somewhere? Where's the extra door? All the doors are distorted. Really? Cat ghost pushes everything off the table. <laughs> no. Nothing. That would be very funny, though. Extra stuff over here. There's locker. Wait, wasn't there two spools? Or was there... Oh, no, that was this one that had two spools. I mean, it hasn't given us a warning yet, so I guess we're doing relatively okay. Why does this look like a floating picture frame to me? Has anyone else seen this? Am I insane? Um. Just, like, I think, I mean, that's... Because there must be a thriving, like, urban exploration community on YouTube as well, right? Like, that's the stuff I would be interested in. Just seeing, like, old abandoned places is already spooky enough. Why do there have to be ghosts as well? Alright, I, I am getting lost. You guys see anything? Ah, oh, too many anomalies! Oh, no, 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 no! Uh, fuck. Chaos. Panic. Um, missing object here. Extra object here. We're fucked! Store basement, extra object. I don't know what we're doing. Uh, I don't see anything. This is fine. Was there cigarettes over there? There were three here. I am fucking it up, dude. Extra object in the restroom. I can say that. Extra object in restroom. I don't really see it. Oh, no. They, are, they must have put a bunch of sneaky anomalies in there. Oh, we are fucked. I swear we did... What the hell? 
Strange painting? There's four trash bags, three of this. We gotta take note of what we're seeing right now so we can uh, compare it to when we fail and we come back here. What the anomalies look like there. There's three here! There's a missing object! Missing object in the entrance. There is a uh, missing pi pillar thingy. Extra object in the basement? Didn't I just mark that? Okay, that's good. Uh, let's see. Extra object in basement. I'll mark it and then we'll go over there. I'm not seeing anything here. This is all the same. That's a lot of blood. Okay. Did that work? You guys are wrong about the extra object. Entrance door? What is it? What is the entrance door? Okay, I'm gonna do other here, probably. Storeroom. That's some other right there on the wall. <laughs> That's a lot of blood. Distortion in the entrance. That is good. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna... Oh, there's more extra objects here, right? Wait, what is with these? Is that not extra? I guess I already did extra object, though. Um... Three, three. Oh, fuck me, man. No. Wait. Huh? I mean, you guys were wrong because I marked that earlier, but now... Oh, but I was right. You guys were wrong. I was right. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Uh, Distortion over here, you guys said? Entrance distortion. I don't know what it could be. Missing object? Wasn't there a box up here? Get wrecked. Nope. Also wrong. Uh, moved object? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'm scared. We're not gonna get another warning. We're so close, though. One more hour? Nope. Very wrong. Is, that, is there something with the stack chairs here? No, it's definitely normal. Okay, fuck. Brick. Mushrooms and everything. There were only three neon lights in the entrance. So you're saying extra objects in entrance? Didn't we already do that like seven million times though? Um. Oh, no, you were right. Doors opened. Is that moved object then in restroom? Did what? Did some of these doors open? I can see that. Oh, you guys are crazy. Uh, I didn't don't see a difference to be honest. Oh, maybe the, no, I don't know. Uh, hi. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay then. Uh, let's go. Barrels here, maybe missing object. It's <laughs> just a guy. There's just the dude. Not found. I mean, I think we recovered mostly from the warning. We definitely... Whatever was in the restroom was already there before the warning. Which I still don't know what it was. Ladder on the floor. Oh, yeah, it fell. Okay, you're right. Moved object in the storeroom. It fell over. You guys are good at this sometimes. Nice. It's crazy how there's actually uh, such a cool game coming out soon. Chilla's art is working. Everyone's making observation duty games, it seems. Seems because Chilla's art is going to make an observation duty game. And better yet, Chilla's art is making oh, what the fuck? Is making an observation duty game like uh Exit 8, which is very exciting. It seems like in Japan, that's like the the fourth ops, the fourth Exit Eight like game that's come out of Japan. There's just this craze in Japan to make a game that is exactly like that somehow. Uh, the ladder is oh the ladder is still on the floor. What the fuck? I guess we got something else. I don't know what else we got, but thank you. <laughs> so yeah, very exciting. Um, it's it's about the what's it called? Sh Shinkansen Zero or something is what it's gonna be called. Uh, yeah. All right then. I want to say that's some strange light shenanigans. It fixed the lid on the barrels. I guess it is other. Yeah, it's on a train. Isn't there a lot of, like, train... Uh, related folklore in Japan? 
like stations that you can go to, like ghost stations or something. I guess there's stuff like that all over. All right, that was other. It fixed the lid of these? Really? Movement on cam two. I'll say it. We're somehow first trying this, by the way. We are 13 minutes away from victory. And this was the, the new map. You are totally right. And I have no idea what it was. <laughs> You'd have to, like, compare those back to back. Yeah, you guys are definitely keeping me alive here. I mean, I spotted a few, but definitely the more subtle ones you guys saved me. Uh, is that a person? That is a fucking intruder right there. You see those eyeballs? It's the Bracken. Don't look at him. Um. Yep. <laughs> All right. Eyes in the... Hey, 25 out of 26. We did it. That was easy peasy. All right. Well, there's three more maps for us to go to. So let's do plain house now. Uh, here we go. This is more. This is what we're more used to. All right, how many cams have we got here? We got four cams only. So bedroom here. We have shoes, two or pieces of clothing, uh, pants. We got a nice rug, nice grandma rug. Uh, painting. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four paintings. We got some papers on the table. We got a plant. Uh, windows are slightly ajar, and the the curtains are actually moving. Um. We have three pictures, two beers, uh, mug, mug, and a pan on the furnace. See, this is a different angle from the same area. I see. You see this? This is the hallway, but it's actually the door is already open. I'm assuming that's normal. What do we, do? You have any new things? No, we have the same anomalies here. Uh, that's a spooky one. Wait, so there's only really. Uh, is this open? Is that always open? That's gonna really fuck with us if that's always supposed to be open. That right there? Oh, what the fuck, man? Um, that is a nice early anomaly. Jesus Christmas, what are you? Intruder in the living room. He's got no face. <laughs> He's got no face. He's an alternate. Is he floating? I don't know what's happening with that guy. Alrighty then. Good start. Good start. Um, got like a beach picture, by the way. So this is always open, which is really going to mess with us, but or mostly mess with chat. <laughs> Not with me, necessarily. Uh, three things. This always being open as well. He's a skinwalker. So three, three pictures plus a purse. This will probably change at some point, so pay attention to the rug there. Spooky sounds. Spooky humming. I hear a clock as well. I don't see a clock, though. We got two red pillows. Closet doors reversed. I think that's just the way they are. I'm pretty sure. Love that we've only seen- That's a huge fucking chair! Is that a huge chair for a huge man, perhaps? Huh? That's a fat chair right there. It's for me. That's a normal chair now. Oh, there's the clock. Is that extra there? Is that extra object? I don't think so, but I mean, we're not really doing anything and there's no penalty for reporting, so I might as well spam. This is like the Ghost Watcher's house kind of? No, it's not. Okay. There's an extra chair. Or you're talking about the distorted chair still. So many pictures. I mean, there's a strange picture, right? Yeah, there's strange paintings, so we're going to have to keep an eye out on the paintings as well. Strange light still, too. Oh, boy. Can't wait to be jump-scared again by a faceless dude. Already 1 a.m. There's definitely something else. Chair moved right there. Yeah, I, I can see that. Chair, like, move a little further away from the desk there. By the way, 
uh, I didn't live like this, but I had a lot of, oh, I guess not. I had a lot of, uh, friends in, like, elementary school and high school that had houses where there's a computer in the living room like this that everyone shares. Is that, like, a very common thing? In my house, we have, like, uh, like an office that my, uh, dad usually uses. Or, like, at the time, we would use it in, like, the weekend to play, like, video games, like, old-timey. Do you, anyone remember Donald Duck Quack Attack? That shit was sick, man. Or, like, the old pinball things. Brick Breaker type of stuff. What was it called? Like, Pinball XD something something? That shit was incredible. With, like, the crazy power-ups and the, the wild-as-hell music. Wait, what is it called? I need to... Pinball... Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna lose, by the way. YouTube. What is that music? Pinball X. What? Does anyone remember this weird X pinball thing? What was it called? I don't know. I guess we 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 don't have no one. No one is of my age in chat. I'm just looking it up. All right. Anyway, I'll, I'll pay. I'll play play the game again. Something wrong in- sorry, I was looking up stuff. Oh, there is a weird face on the painting. All right, there you go. No, 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 I was distracted. I was looking something up on YouTube. Oh, there's hands. We got an Obake, guys? <laughs> no, there was like X's and numbers involved in the name of that pinball. It was crazy. That's the- that's the music. Anyone remember that music? <laughs> <laughs> that was the song. Uh, what is this? Other? Is it... It's not Persona. Is it 3D? Spinball FX? Yeah, we're on a side quest here. Is it this? I don't think so. Alright, you guys are not... You guys... My, I remember. Oh, there's extra objects here. Uh, I, I, I'm so, people are so mad at me. Like, fuck, play the fucking video game. Um, but I remember my grandparents used to have that game. Is it 3D pinball? No, I don't think so. My, my grandparents used to have that game, and we would always go there. And we'd be like, Can we play pinball? Can we play pinball? <laughs> did it move? It did move. Moved objects. That shit was fire. Had the 3D. It's got. It was something Windows XP, yeah. <laughs> it was like a really old operating system. Uh. I don't know if it was like detail. You played Spinball Space Cadet. That doesn't sound familiar at all. No, it's not the Space Cadet one. Uh, what the fuck, lady? Hello there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. Came in through the window. <laughs> Is there an extra object here? Did this change? Is that a replaced object or do they just got different lamps on different sides of the table? Door open this normal. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Uh Windows XP pinball. Oh my god, it is this one. I think so. Okay, wait, maybe Okay, maybe you guys were right. Wait, is it Oh my god. No, it's not this one. No, but I did play this one, but it's not the one I'm talking about. Uh, anyway, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, there's extra clothing here. I love how I'm still winning the game, by the way. Extra object in the bedroom. <laughs> this is extra. I mean, maybe we're gonna die randomly. I'm, like, paying half attention. Yeah, I mean, I definitely played that one, but that's not the one that the music is from. I think they had this one, plus, like... What is, like, the old Brick Breaker? Brick Breaker, Windows, XP. What the fuck is that called? <gasps> this one! DX Ball! DX Ball! That's the one I'm talking about! This shit was...
crazy. Oh, baby. <laughs> that was the music, you see? <laughs> that shit, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> Well, anyway, we gotta we gotta win the game. <laughs> that music. <laughs> I used to play that shit all the time. It wasn't. It's not even a pinball game. I was so confused. Yeah, that's not, no wonder you guys were confused because it's not pinball at all. It's like Brick Break. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Anyway, what are we doing? We're playing uh, Observation Duty. Carpet changed in the bedroom. You're so right. Replaced object. Oh, it had, like, the crazy power-ups. You wanna hear the sound? <laughs> Sorry, the fucking explosion right away. <laughs> Holy... <laughs> fucking hell. DX wall do be... Is there extra lights in the hallway? <laughs> Pillows missing? Oh, you're right! <clears throat> How are we doing this? How are we alive? Uh, missing object in the bedroom. We're insane with it. We've also completed our side quest. There were, uh, there was an extra lamp. You're so right. Uh, hi there. There's an intruder in my closet. Are you gonna attack me if I don't report you? Probably the answer is yes, so I will report you. <clears throat> oh yeah, accidentally getting the shrink power up so you would fucking die. That shit was devastating. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. What was the- there were so many like weird ass power ups. Kitchen door closed? Isn't that supposed to be closed? You can, this one is supposed to be open. I know that much. Pillows are back. Not found. Been taking the DX ball stream when? Dude, that's gonna bring back memories. <clears throat> I don't think there's any painting wrong in there. Wait, there's something missing here, right? Isn't there a plate there? Or does it move? No, there's a missing plate. Or a, a cup. Mug. Missing mug. The blue, blue mug. The pan is supposed to be on the furnace. Is it on the furnace? It is definitely on the furnace. That is normal. Uh, there were two and one. That's fine. Stove. Furnace? Wasn't that what you call this? I guess I guess the Dutch word for I guess the English word furnace and the Dutch word for what this is is very different or very similar, so my brain gets them confused. I guess they're called this it's called a stove in English. Um There's a What? Oh it's a distorted ass candle. In the living room. <clears throat> Stove top. Get it out of here. Touch of it. That's a different thing. <laughs> this is all fine, right? That plate's supposed to be there. I think. I remember Contra. I don't. I th didn't play many different games as a. Uh, as a child, because I was just. I, I remember playing Pajama Sam. The faucet is on. Kitchen. Uh, other, I guess. I remember playing Freddy Fish. I remember playing, uh, Quack Attack. That shit was fire. I remember- Anyone remember playing the fucking weird as hell Mario Kart game? With, like, the hamsters from, like, Disney? That, with, like, the insane unlocks. Like, there were, like, there was, like, a thousand years worth of, like, things to unlock. What was it called? Does anyone remember what that was called? The, like, Disney racing game? 
Uh, this light got changed into a different light. The chipmunks, sorry. Yeah, chipmunks. Ch what? I can find it. Is it? I'm gonna die! Wait, is it this one? It's Walt Disney Magical Racing Tour? <laughs> Maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> it was like a hardcore... It was like so hard, I remember. They were like... Uh, there's a fucking guy, dude. Uh, intruder. Hello? <clears throat> Ab, thank you for the three months. This is a Bracken again. Okay. There's some. What did you say? There was something else. What was I missing? Am I missing something? Uh, wasn't there two pictures or one picture? I'm just gonna say missing object just in case. Uh, old Disney racing game. Not found. It was probably well. Walt Disney World Quest Magical Racing Tour. Yeah, I think it was that one. Anyone remember playing um Theme Park what was it called? Theme Park World? Holy shit, have I gotten me the the oh there's something missing there. Uh when my copy when my C D of Theme Park World got scratched beyond playability, I lost part of my childhood that day. That was the saddest day of my life. That I still remember it. Wait, wasn't there something over there? Missing lights? Remote on the Oh wait, it moved. Okay, never mind. There was the remote was here. It moved over there. Can you still play Theme Park World in any way? That shit was fun as hell. EA replaced damage just for free. Not the one I got, because mine was rented from the library and then my dad fucking burned a copy of the cd that we stole from the library <laughs> and then they got rid of it in the library <laughs> so i couldn't get another copy bro it was the saddest day i've ever made uh strange light <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it was for a greater good. Remember when you would fucking copy games from the library? Remember when you could get games at the library in the first place? That ah, shit. Whenever they'd made that change, library became my favorite place. Shit was fire. That's the most Dutch thing I've ever heard. You never return them? Aren't they gonna fucking kill your ass if you do that? Aren't they gonna send library hitman to your house? Hunting down the stolen CD. Missing- Oh, hi. Yep, that's a dude. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Well then. Hello. <laughs> Missing light in the hallway? There was supposed to be no light in the middle here, by the way. Uh, what the fuck? Is there anything else I'm missing? People keep yelling to me about a missing light. I did not play Frog Racer. Dude, that mad that Walt Disney thing was crazy. I don't think we ever unlocked everything. Remember when you would just anyone else played Oh, there's a fucked up painting there. Anyone else played um This Metabots game for the DS? Like, Rakusho something, whatever. Rakusho edition or something, it was called. I never finished that shit. What was it called? Metabots... Ra... Kush... Was it Rakush? What the fuck was it called? Metabots Game Boy Game. This one. 
this th shit right here. Rokusho. Yeah, Rokusho. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna lose. I need to pay attention. Um, I never played Crash Bandicoot. No. Are we missing something? Are we just gonna survive this while doing so many different side quests? But remember when you would, uh, like, get stuck in a game? And then you would ask your friends, how do you fucking get past this part? And then if no one of your friends were playing the game, you would just never finish it. You would just be fucked. Because <laughs> there was no internet. So you'd just never be able to finish the game. <laughs> no one will ever know that pain anymore. Now people will just fucking look up a game, like a playthrough and be like, oh, that's how it's done. Back then, we'd have to actually fucking use our brain. Uh, the plant is moving. Right? It moved around just now. So if you were playing some, like, obscure game... Remember the... What was it? The R4 cards for the DS where you could, like... I'm fucking self-reporting, by the way. But everyone did this. Don't lie to me. Remember the, like, cards on DS where you could, like, pirate games? The R4 DS? <laughs> Yes, we did it. Uh, hotel. We haven't done that one. <laughs> and you could, um... I remember that feeling so weird. Because I was, like... I was a literal, like... Just kid. Uh, so I had, like, no idea... Like, it felt so weird to play a game that you, like, didn't own. And it was like, how does this even work? And then you feel like you couldn't ask anything. Because it was like, it's... it's, it's, it's you, can't, you can't do this. This is... This is not allowed. Our forest, your childhood. That shit was fire. But then half the games wouldn't work because they were broken. Uh, anyway, we got to pay attention. Let's uh, pause our side quest for a moment because we got to count everything. This is our first time on this new map. Uh, well, I think I remember some of this, but uh, we got two blankets, two towels, two lamps that are turned on. We got a castle painting and we got some other painting. Check. We have two... Um, two, two, one, bunch of bamboo sticks, bunch of bamboo sticks there. Um, you got two magazines, got a picture of flowers. Chair is pointing towards us. We have three boxes. Okay, then we have, isn't that already extra? I swear that's already an extra toilet roll right there. Wasn't that just one? I swear that was just one toilet roll. Dude, he is insane. I can do this while I sleep now. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Uh, we have glasses. This is here. This is there. There is a space in between. I never play. I never had a Nintendo 64. I'm a. I was a strict like uh, Game Boy and DS kind of guy. That was. I played most of like my games in my childhood on portable devices, which was fire, by the way. Don't feel bad for me. I would just be chilling. I would just be like pulling the cover over my face. Just when my mom would come in the room, she wouldn't see that I was actually playing games instead of sleeping. Shit was fire. And then you always... <laughs> no, I'm sleeping. Distorted fridge? I think that's just because of the... This is not even a fridge. This is like an ice machine. That's a thing in... Uh... I don't know if this is a thing anywhere else. I guess I haven't been to too many hotels in other places. I've mostly been to hotels in the U.S. But in the U.S., they always have, like, ice machines everywhere. You're just like, is this moved? I swear this moved. Or maybe not. You love your eyes. It did not move. <laughs> Hi! I'm gonna say that's a, uh, intruder. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Dude, I love the interaction with these. It's so good. He's a bit of a spooky lady. Alright, we're fine. We got many plates, many bowls, many, many plates, but less plates. She wanted a nibble. 
We have extra object here? I don't know, I feel like I'm going insane. Uh, chair still there, everything is fine. No, I guess not. I mean, we haven't gotten a warning yet, so we're still okay. We got 203. What's the number here? The light? Something changed with the light. I don't know. That's up to you to know. Those are still the same. Those were turned on. Missing papers? Missing something on the desk, maybe? I'm not sure. Bedroom missing right corner? Oh! Got it! Oh, they were paying. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. The woman stole the papers. And then she jump scared us. It was a magic trick. Good stuff. What other games did I play? There were always three plants. I swear there were only two plants. But I guess I didn't already report that before. The light is off. Isn't that supposed to be off? I can say light. Would that be other? Holes in the ice machine? Oh, yeah, true. It's supposed to be off? Okay. I did not play Lego right. I didn't play any Lego game. As a child. That is a moved or extra? I think that's extra. Oh, you guys remember this? Um... Oh, wow, we got a warning. I was just fixing something, you bitch. Oh, shit. Wait, there's another extra object. You guys remember this, like, weird... I, for I forget what this genre of game is called, but where you, like, construct... You have, like, a... Uh... Like a, like a screen where you can hang up a bunch of, uh, like, machinery. And then you can turn on the machinery and you're supposed to, like, accomplish some kind of objective. Like, keep, pop the balloon or keep the balloon in this area or whatever, whatever. Uh, there's a missing object here. Crazy machine! That's the one! <laughs> yes. Crazy machine. I think it's called crazy machine. That shit was so good. I remember playing that when I was young. Or in Machinarium, you guys remember that game? I remember my my dad used to be the gamer. Like my dad made me like or introduced me to so many games. Can't you still get that game on Steam? When did Machinarium came come out? I'm I'm gonna die looking this up. Machine oh my god i have it wait i have this game of course i have it it came out in 2009 <laughs> that's an old ass game uh door is slightly opened right that's not supposed to be like that bedroom missing object oh jesus christ uh it's supposed to be open whatever uh flies are definitely a bit of an other right here Bedroom missing object. What's the object missing? Is there a lamp here? There's two lamps, like one lamp to the sign. Yeah, that's a fix. Move towels. I guess I'll say move or room. Moved objects? What the fuck? I was 12 when that game came out. I'm going to say missing object. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever finished Machinarium. I need to play that. That would be the no that would be so nostalgic. What the hell is going on? Was there something dark? No. Did it just fix something? I was distracted. Um Is there another thing? What the fuck? Glasses are still there. We are so screwed up. Owl is still missing. Okay, I'll report it again then. Oh, okay. You were right. Oh, it was a bigger pile of towels. Is that what happened there? 
Uh, <laughs> that is a lot of extra shovels. The room number changed? Okay. Wasn't it supposed to be? Oh, it was 203. Uh, let's see. We're gonna do uh, extra object here, obviously. Oh, it was 203 and uh, I mean, this room is called 302, so that's rude. Stream old games. Nostalgia stream. Uh, hallway. It's gonna be removed objects. Nostalgia month. Oh, yeah. Nostalgia month. Frogger. Spyro. I remember my brother got... Wait, I can't move the... Why did it... I got stuck. I couldn't move the camera for a while. Um, my brother got into Skylanders. I was too old at the time when that shit popped off. But if I was as old as my, my younger brother, I, that would have probably been my childhood as well. There's gotta be some people in here that are like, oh my god, Skylanders. That shit was such a scam, though. That was, like, expensive as fuck. Pillow changed color? Really? <clears throat> Extra in the bedroom? I don't see any of what you guys are talking about, but... Oh! You were right about the pillows changing color. Let's go. Good job, gamers. We're only halfway through this day, man. Uh, the plant is mega distorted. It's like moving, even. I mean, we used to play Wii Tanks. <laughs> that shit will be forever fucking burned into my brain. <laughs> This night is long? Yeah, isn't this longer than the previous ones? There's gotta be like speed runs out there of Wii tanks or something. <laughs> Trash bags? Uh, bamboo missing? Really? Sure. Extra object? Oh yeah, extra here. Yeah, why am I reporting the missing object? It's wrong. There's an extra fertilizer. Uh, missing or extra object? There we go. I mean, I used to. It was a time. What were the main games? Modern Warfare Two was for a while the main game I would play. Like the way I would play games is I would play one game. You can see that in my streaming as well. I mean, I've obviously done some... We do a lot more variety, but... Um, like, Lethal Company recently has been a good example of that. Phasmo has been a good example of that. Like, when I play games, like, when before I was a streamer, I would just play one game, like, Modern Warfare 2, for, like, two years, and then, like, stop and do it never again. Then I would play, like, Dark Souls 2 for, like, two years. Don't play anything else. And then I played, like, Dark Souls 3 for a full year. Terraria I played for, I don't even know how fucking long. <clears throat> uh, in, like, a way where I would play... Like, I would finish the game and then start a new playthrough every time. Like, play the whole game, start a new playthrough, do it over and over and over and over and over and over and over. <clears throat> what other games? Then there was Black Desert Online, which I played for like a year maybe two years which was very fun anyone remember tribal wars <laughs> the like web game i got so that's the first time i had like a debilitating like addiction to video games where i like because it was too easy to play it everywhere like you'd play it on your phone you could play it on your computer and like uh, back then there was already like a ton of your schoolwork and stuff had to be done on computers so like it would be really fucking hard to play to like do your schoolwork while like what the fuck <laughs> hi there that's an intruder sir oh my god what a creep <laughs> goodness gracious it would be so hard to play games or Focus on other stuff while, like, one alt tab away, you could just check on everything. Is something missing here? 
<clears throat> you could check on like your your freaking village. Uh, there's intruders fucking everywhere, bro. What is going on? Hi, sir. Oh, uh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> okay then. Anyone remember swords and sandals? <laughs> or um, bubble trouble? Or the McDonald's uh, game? The McDonald's management game? <laughs> Remember that uh, tower defense? Like the Stickman tower defense game? That shit was cracked, man. Are we missing stuff? Probably, yes. Age of War! Anyone remember Age of War? Holy, dude. <laughs> the Hamburger Tycoon game, though, where you had to, like, flamethrower cows when they got sick. <laughs> like the McDonald's parody game. <laughs> that shit, dude. Uh, is there, like, a missing object here? Yeah, I mean, Age of Vampires as well, f of course. <clears throat> nope, not fun. Serious Sam, I never, I never did anything with that. Oh. Frick. Adventure quest. Wait, what? Other? Why is it always like nothing? Oh, I guess it's moved, and this is moving. <laughs> Fucking Yure's over here. <laughs> Remember playing all those mobile games in high school during lunch break? Fucking Jetpack Joyride. Uh, what was that doodle, doodle jump or something? <laughs> Subway Surfers, back when it wasn't a meme and it was actually like something people played. <laughs> Fruit Ninja, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Flappy Bird, I was I was already slightly too old at that time. What do you what is with the trash bags? People keep talking about the trash bags, I don't know. Jetpack Jara is an insane game. Uh that's extra, right? Wasn't it there before? <clears throat> or moved? Remember that game where you would get attacked by Stickman and then you had to flick them off into the sky and then they would fall down and fucking get eviscerated? Or you have to like smash them down into the ground really fast and it would explode? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I swear this is a game and I'm not making it up. It's the, it's the Ragdoll Tower Defense. I don't see many people saying that. Are you okay? <laughs> Learn to fly. Remember the paper plane game? Where you have to throw a paper plane. You had to get upgrades for it. And then you would like fly to Paris and stuff. <laughs> Dude, it's all coming back to me now. I am unlocking a different part of my brain. Hey, there's an extra object there. Launch turtle game. What the hell is that game called? I see not many people. Game about throwing sick people at the ground. Will I be able to find it this way? I don't think I can. I think I think I'm I think this is Oh it is this It's this right here What is this game? This game right here. Look. This one. This fucking game. What is this game called? You have to like flick them up and then they would fall down and fucking die. Defend your castle. That one. Alright, anyway. 
<laughs> That's the game I was talking about. Oh, strange light. I am not crazy. It does exist. <laughs> Angry birds? Yeah, I mean, that was the shit, too. That is not what I was talking about, though. I was talking about the game I just flashed on screen. There's footsteps here. Oh my god, what the fuck? Holy shit! <laughs> that was... Uh, huh? Okay, then. <laughs> what the fuck? That was, that was sick. <laughs> That one got me good. I did not expect that at all. <laughs> Dude, these intruders are very good. I love these intruders. This is this is a good observation duty game. It's got some spooky ass intruders. I really like intruders that like when you report them, they do something cool. Like it's a little predictable, but it's so much better than just having some like naked guy in the corner and then you report him and then he goes away. Like your intruders gotta be horror, right? Otherwise it's not a horror game. Anyone, Professor Layton for the DS? Remember that stuff? That was some big brain shit, man. Uh, there's missing glasses. <clears throat> hey, oh, we missed actually three. Well, uh, we're insane. That was a fun game. I really liked that. So that was all three maps of uh, Caught on Camera. There might be a few more. I don't know if there were in the workshop more. This game, I think it's like two bucks on Steam. Uh, we played the HAO version, which had, I think, Plane and Hotel, or Plane House and Hotel, but we played all the maps now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of fun talking about old stuff as well. Let me know, what was your favorite game from your childhood? Would love to hear it in the comments down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join, the lovely game is here. Chat, you can join us over at Twitch.tv. I'll get the link in the description down below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Dude, the music is sick. Alrighty. Well, uh, that is also going to be where we call it for today because I got some work to do, so that actually works out perfectly. Dude, talking about all those old games, man, makes me want to dust off my Game Boy Advance and play some old-ass shit. Man, DX Ball is actually... Dude, can we get the DX Ball title, title music real quick? This goes fire. Oh, baby. <laughs> this shit goes hard, bro. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, if you're watching over... <laughs> I can't believe that I still knew the, the beats of that song. If you're watching over on YouTube, thank you so much for chilling with us today. I uh, hope you had fun. If you want to watch... Uh, indie horror games, let me link you uh, this very big one. You might have already, actually, you might have already watched that one. Uh, let's link the Buckshot Roulette one. Dude, this goes too hard. I'll link you to this video right here if you want to watch more of us get shot by uh, creepy AI. Thank you guys so much for chilling. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good one, YouTube. Bye bye, guys. Have a good one. If you're watching over on Twitch and you want to join them in the comments section, go check out this video right here. Uh, absolute fire. I have never... I don't remember this part of the song. I guess I would have already clicked start by this point. We're gonna raid, yeah. I'm just listening to the music. Damn it. Just checking my follow list. Oh boy. Uh, oh, it's over. Goodbye. Uh, we'll play more of this. I right, thank you guys so much. We'll go say hi. Oh no. Oh no, Tiki. You shouldn't have. He's doing some crowd control. We're coming over here. Go destroy this man. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for joining today. We're gonna set the takeies, do some crowd control. You can mess with this game if you want. Uh, be a little kind though, because he might die otherwise. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye bye, guys. <laughs> see you, see you.